get this party started. Ooh, look at that. Carl, James, Isabella, Brandy. How cool. How cool is that? Dun, 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 dun. Isabella, wow. Hey, girl, tell us what's been going on. Look at James. Hi, Carl. Hello. Um, finals have been going on, so I've been like very busy. Finals! Hi, Brandy. Hello. Well, let me for Brandy. I want to tell you something, but I was asking Isabella how what's going on at school. Besides finals, Isabella. I had to move rooms. What again? We have mold. Oh wow. Mold. It, like really bad in the windowsill. Mm -hmm. And um, the, actually the water started coming in through the window and it was like filling up the little window frame. Mm -hmm. And then we had mold and then we both started getting sick and we couldn't figure out why we were getting sick. And then the wall behind like this, I'm in a different dorm now, but like this brick wall, it's normally like wet. Well, it's not, it's not like it breathes. So it's normally like moist. It was like really wet. And like, if I had like a piece of clothing had like fallen behind the bed, or my shoes would always be wet and like moist. And then I had to throw away a couple pairs of shoes because there was mold going on the shoes. Mm. Wow. Um, and then he was started getting sick. And then I went to the I went to the doctor when I was home for my physical and he was like, he was like, are you living in like a really damp environment? I'm like, well, we have mold growing. And so we, we did a lung test, a mold test Ooh. on the mold growing in your lungs. Oh wow. And so my mom called like envi environmental health on campus and this lady came in and she was like this is like a health hazard whatever so they moved us down the hall but I've been doing a mold test of the mold in the previous room mm -hmm. and this was like from today this is wow. I saw this this morning oh gee oh yeah so this is like a, a thing for your um I swabbed that this morning because uh -huh. huh? we're still moving in and out, getting stuff out. And that's from this morning. It's already grown so much. Oh my gosh. So it's pretty bad. Um, beyond ah. that, I have finals next week. So I'm studying. But are you starting to feel better? I feel better. I was really sick. I actually had food poisoning beginning of this week. <laughs> um the dining hall is like really bad. So everyone got sick, everyone got food. I had on top of like mold poisoning, I had a cold and I had food poisoning for two days. Oh my goodness. So um, our room kind of looks like a mess. It looks like in the corner, like over here, there's like six, there's like cough drops. We have like, I have like maybe six boxes of like Mucinex like DM boxes that we've been taking because so my roommate and I have been sick. And our whole friend group ended up getting sick. So we're oh, all geez. like <laughs> trading cough medicines with each other, the pills and everything, because we've all been sick. So Ooh. been fun. No fun. It sucks. It doesn't so. sound like fun at all. And I go back home next week, so. Oh, that's right, because Christmas is going to be here. So that's why there's finals. You know, I'm not really paying attention to the mm -hmm. to the um, calendar these days. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have a doctor's appointment yeah. tomorrow. I, somebody sent me a confirmation. Otherwise, I would have completely forgot yeah, about I'm, that. Right now, I'm eating a charcuterie board in bed. So it's a divide. Oh, look we at you got your pictures up on the wall. That's good. Look at all we those went photos. to Costco, and they got these like little charcuterie boards. And so this is what I'm eating for breakfast, for <laughs> dinner tonight. Well, I've got pretzel sticks for dinner. It's quite good. I have crackers. I have olives. I have two different types of salami. I have cheese. We got pizza on the way. Mm. I missed pizza last night. I had to take Stroy to the airport and we had traffic and stuff and I missed it. So, Brandy, uh -huh. here's yeah. what I'll tell you. So, um, you know who Bertha Vasquez is, right? Who's that? Bertha Vasquez runs the ties program from for Center for Inquiry for CSI. Oh, okay, yeah. She's a teacher of a um, science teacher, and she's running this program to that's been teaching teachers how to teach evolution and uh, climate change and stuff like that. You know, because mm -hmm. teachers are often uh, harassed in classrooms and stuff like that. Anyway, 
So her and I are working on a project and at the moment we're calling it Skeptics in the Classroom. So it's a lot like what we did in Vegas um, for last year, but she's gonna be kind of handling the end where she finds schools, I guess, because she has a lot of connections with schools. And then I'm gonna wrangle people who, from our community to give talks mostly by Zoom and possibly by in person. And mm -hmm. um, so I know you wanted to make sure your school was part of that too. Yeah. So at the moment, I haven't really started too much. Leonard says he's going to do a talk on one of the teachers in Florida says that they, they've been reading Hidden Figures, the, the book. And she wants to make a talk on moon hoax, moon hoaxes. So Leonard says he'll brush up on his moon hoaxes and and, uh, so I, I assume you mean the moon landing hoax. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, now I understand As why Saunders said moon hoax. About there being no moon. <laughs> well, well there, you know you could talk about that too. I don't see why not. It's a plot by big science to uh, trick us. <laughs> so Sorry, I had to it's, mute it's with big moon. our pizzas here, so the dog was going crazy. <laughs> oh. so. I always think your son would be going crazy. So <laughs> anyway, Brandy, let's, um, I'm probably not going to organize this for a little bit longer, but this one of the moon hoax came up soon and um, that's going to be in January. But if you want to start whatever it is you were going to do with finding people who, students, teachers who really want to do this, I'm going to start lining up speakers who will talk on subjects about skepticism i mean not pure science because kids can usually get that but we want to put like ghosts and superstitions and and yeah. critical thinking and and all that kind of stuff oh hi bob i just noticed you there <laughs> um from a different angle um those kinds of things and talks and so what bertha one of the things bertha is going to be doing i think is using she's kind of coming up with cur cur curriculum yeah, if I say it fast, I could do it. Curriculum that will be that this maybe the teachers can talk to the students about in advance. They could do like a lesson, and then we bring somebody in to talk to them, um, like coddling fairies, uh, other things, you know, ghosts, magic, whatever. Yeah. So we could we could do probably from our field of people who are out there. We could probably do any topic we want, and we have uh, people we could either find that are experts on it or people who could become brushed up on becoming an expert on it. enough for us for you know middle school and high school kids yeah definitely i'll uh reach out to some of aiden's teachers i know he had one last year who actually touched on um just you know basic logic um and critical thinking um and he even tied it to the what happened on January 6th, which I thought was very interesting because he jumped right into that subject. Um, and he didn't get in trouble? I thought was, <laughs> no, I mean, I, I loved listening, listening in on that class when he was doing his Zoom classes. <laughs> to be honest, that was like one of my favorites because he didn't shy away from, you know, the controversy as, you know, as much as he could get away with um, in the public schools. And um, he he challenged them to to think critically about things um and used real world examples as to how um you know smart people can think of you know believe wrong things so right very 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 there was an article in the washington post about this recently yesterday or the day before teacher been doing kind of that same thing talking about white privilege and and he got in big trouble and then he kind of had to back off the kids, yeah. he's a liberal in Tennessee, and he taught a lot of kids a lot of great things to think about, but he ended up making a mistake and shared a video, a YouTube video after January 6th that had a lot of profanities in it, and um, parents complained, and he got fired in Tennessee, oh, that sucks. you know, so yeah, he was, emotions he was, get to him, too. He was cautious, but, you know, still, uh, I don't know, he did it. The right way i think yeah, you know without trying the conversation to, yeah um because he was letting the kids kind of go um which i couldn't 
he get, catch a lot of it because a lot of them were making comments. And so he was commenting on the comments that I couldn't see. So I was like, what was that? I kept popping over. I was like, what were they saying, Aiden? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is kind of what we're doing. We haven't come up with a name with it, but the moment we're doing skeptics in the classroom, I really want to make sure we use the word skeptic. I don't want to, I don't want to shy away from it. I think, I think yeah. it, bring it on. And I think what we'll do is like Rob Palmer was talking about a day or so ago. I heard him. Hi, Janine. He was saying that every time he does a talk, the first thing they ask him is, why are you a skeptic? How do you know you're skeptic? What does it mean to be a skeptic? And he's like, you know, I'm so tired of that. I need to come up with a spiffy answer. And one of the things he was thinking of saying is, aren't you a skeptic too? You know, would you like to buy my car? Uh, I have, you know, don't check. Don't check on the mileage. Just take my word for it. You know, of course you're a skeptic. Yeah. And I thought it was an interesting way of kind of. Anyway, so that's that's my 2022 project. And I'm going to start on a kind of Monday. So I can't believe we're already so close to 2022. <laughs> I, I just had Thanksgiving. Leonard came over. So we had Thanksgiving on Saturday. So mm. I'm really off. When I got yeah. done, when I got done and Sterling just left yesterday, I thought, oh my gosh, Christmas is in like two and a half weeks. <laughs> I don't know if I really want to do Christmas. I'm not really into it this year. So you did see. Thanksgiving late. So you're going to do New Year's early. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do anything. Because, you know, it, it is three weeks until 2022. That's amazing. Don't say it, that. It's like, it's, it's. <laughs> It's a whole three weeks, plus a little bit. I mean, yeah, we went out to a Christmas tree farm. Our friends Glenn and Kathy have a Christmas tree farm, and we just took Sterling out there to say hello to them. And and they're like, "Aren't you going to get your tree while you're here?" And I'm going, "I don't really know." I mean, we usually put our tree up and keep it up for a long time. We get a fresh tree, we cut it ourselves, or but I, I don't know. Where, where do you put it? Yeah, that's the thing. Um, last year we put it in the living room in the corner but this year we've moved so much stuff in there that it would be hard to do it but in the past i've done it in the in the kitchen in the corner right by the two windows that i'll just take that little table and chair out that you saw i've done yeah. it in the kitchen several times it works well yeah it'll work there if you take the take the chairs out i know but I'm just not sure I really what it we just finished remodeling our house janine knows and i don't know if i really want to pull and stuff it looks, down and it looks absolutely lovely Thank you. It's yeah, it was really impressive. Thank you very much, Janine. We need more people to come visit me so you can see. My <laughs> come down. Bring your chicken too, Bob. No, don't bring your chickens. My have cats. Yeah, you don't want chickens. No, yeah, I don't know got, what it is with you've chickens. Got, you've got three cats. <laughs> yeah, they didn't pay. I'm I'm really happy they didn't bother you too much, Leonard. I yeah, was I wasn't. Worried. I wasn't. I wasn't worried about it. Well, I was. I was worried that you were going to get, I thought, well, if I ever invite Leonard over, it'll have to be an outdoor picnic or outdoor something because I didn't really, I did, I knew you were allergic. I didn't know how bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty allergic. You good? Your, your house is, uh, is not very uh, catted. Not very what? It's not full of, full of cat. Oh, well, how did you we survive my house? <laughs> we have hardwood floors too. So um, it's easy. I survived your house by not being there for that long. <laughs> well, the cat, the cat would not come out to see you. I know that. Right. Because no, but the, the cat so, does not come see people. Oh, so here's for, John. Hi, John. Hi, John. Hi, John. Hello. He's up there. He's that much taller than me. I'm sitting down. <laughs> so, I mean, there, there are some places, some houses, where if you, uh, if you walk in and sit down, when you get up, you're covered in cat hair. So you're not allergic to dogs? I am allergic to dogs, but not as allergic to dogs as I am to cats. Yeah. Our house is pretty much dogs. Yeah. yeah you, you've, uh, you're, you're, uh, you're fairly dogged. <laughs> I'm doggy. I'm definitely doggy. There's no yeah. doubt about that. <laughs> James, do you want to take the controls tonight? I've never given them to you before. Sure. Okay. I'd love power. Hey, Rob. <laughs> Greetings, Dr. Palmer. <laughs> Greetings, Dr. Palmer. Oh, is he doing a category tonight? Can we look for something behind him. 
Uh, you should yeah. know if I'm doing a category. Yeah, you're doing a category. Didn't you? <laughs> Everybody pay attention to what's back there. There's Isabella again. She's had her. I'm doing a category too. too. As, as oh, not. that's right. But I thought yours was just calming. No. Uh, is, is, is your background pertaining to your category? It might be. Might. My my background is not <laughs> the answers are boring. Well, Leonard has a Leonard has a category tonight too. Yeah, and it's really it's a really hard one. Oh, oh. it's Leonard's is about focus. Yeah, I hope it's, I hope it's difficult. Yep, it's we've it, had some it, pretty easy ones. Right category it's, is quantum spin. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the like half a category. Let me get this ready here for the for the game today. 84. Oh, Lord, 84. Is that right, Carl? 84, season two, episode 27. <laughs> season four, episode 27. Hi, Mom. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. I keep Everyone? trying to get my, my sister to play. I just got off the phone with her. It's her birthday. And said, you know, you still haven't played trivia. We're about to start. She goes, oh, I have friends coming over. So. <laughs> Hi, Terry. She, them she... too. Hi. Terry says she'll make it the first couple rounds. Yeah. That's good. At least we'll take you for a couple rounds. We'll take you for a couple rounds around the park. All right. I don't know what that will mean. I never know what to expect myself, but Rob has... <laughs> Rob has something behind him, and that's almost always a hint uh, that right. something he's going to do. Something about have, film. Oh, oh dear. Ah. I oh, it's have a, a feeling it's about film, or it's about photography film, or it's about Ce cellul developing. Cellul cellulite. 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 About yeah, he, backgrounds. His, his topic is going to be cellulite. His, <laughs> oh, his, no. topic, oh. his topic is lives of little holes. Find the mm. I, I I sense a, a another round where I will be a silent bystander. Oh, <laughs> I, I know I the have to go, moment. I go run it. Actually, Wilma, I think in this one you will do as well as anyone. Uh -oh. oh, well, that's, <laughs> really, <laughs> that's not necessarily a good thing. Whatever that means. Thank you, Rob. I appreciate it. Well, somebody that. said, I told them I'm going to do movies. Oh, I'm going to read everything in IMDb, you know, LOL. I said, that won't even help you. Oh, man. <laughs> Well, here comes Paula Hollywood here. IMDb Wilma is the Internet Movie Database. <laughs> oh, see? I did not know that. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Internet Movie story. Database. Yeah, imdb.com. So it's, it's a little site where pretty much it's not control. Anyone can go there and say, I was in this movie. It's really weird. Uh, yeah. But it basically has basic information, like, you know, the stars who were in the movie, a little bit about it. That's it. But imdb.com. I was There's the also a separate Internet Movie Cars Database where you can look up, like, what car was in a particular movie? Oh, oh my God. people wow. have to time that's their hands. I'm sorry. Specific. You're like, if you that see a movie, cool. you go, what car is that? that I want to go look it up in that's the car. That's awesome. <sighs> do, do, they, do they include movies like Blade Runner with the you know flying cars? Don't encourage um, them. If it, only, only if the flying car was based on a real car. Mm. Hi, Paula. Oh, you said I'm car. Saying. I thought you said heart. Oh. <laughs> Auto automobile. So I was in a movie. Oh really? I was a, yeah, I was. A, I was an extra. Oh. Well, I got to. I got to push away the leading man's best friend who was making a pass at me. <gasps> oh, <laughs> what movie, what movie was, was it? it? Nice. Oh, it, it's a classic, of course. It's called Getting Getting Wasted. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Was it porn? No, the ever, the, ever, the ever popular getting wasted. No, IMDb. It. It's a 1980 movie with Brian Kerwin and David Caruso. Did you put your info in IMDb? Uh, I did not. Well, now you gotta. It's, you gotta do that. <laughs> you don't have to be credited to be in there. You, oh, I didn't know that. Are, yeah, a lot of the yeah. actors are listed as uncredited. Okay, well that would be me, uncredited. They also oh, list uh, staff, uh, uh, crew members. Ah, cool. So, so this came up during Star Trek Discovery's initial year uh, because there was a character who had transitioned from, he was basically a Klingon in disguise as a human, and he was not credited in the actual, you know, when they put the credits oh. up, but mm -hmm. 
he or someone put him in his IMDb as that character. It's like, oh, and it gave gave the whole thing away. What? Yeah. That's wrong. Yeah. Uh, so uh, Je- uh, I just got a notification that Jeff um, joined the the wrong Zoom meeting. He joined the SGU um, uh, weekly Zoom meeting on accident, I guess, instead of this. Did so, he not get out of there? What kind of weekly Zoom meeting is running now for the SGU? Oh, I run it. Um, it's for the people um, on Discord who, well, you don't have to be on Discord, but it's just fun, just people us chatting every oh, week. Didn't know Jane. about that. Yeah. I saw a last name that I recognized on that list that just showed up. Hi, Peggy. What? What was that? Schulenberg. Uh, okay. Don't Who's this? Who popped up that list just now? You, Avi? Uh, this list? Carl yes. had it. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, this is the uh, documentary that uh, Ben's nephew made. Which oh, so you can put you can put people's names in there. And Wait, one, what, of, one of the producers is is, is just somebody. Ah, oh. the Carl not with a K. Yeah. I wouldn't recognize that because it's some weirdo. <laughs> no, wait, where's go scroll up to the top? What was the name of this? Recording in. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Okay, that's a weird name. You told me about that. I remember. Is it good? Yes. Can I watch it on YouTube? Uh, no. How do I Not watch YouTube? it? Is it it's, about uh, Zoom? You spend it's on numerous of things. Money. It's on Amazon Prime, but it's not free on Prime anymore. It was free on Prime for a while, but now it's pay to watch on Prime. And I think oh, it's, it's on Apple box. and a bunch of other stuff. All right. How recordings do you survive in the age of streaming? Yep. Guns and Roses and everything on it. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was, I, I watched that when it was live somewhere. That, that was interesting. So how did you become, how did that work out? How, how did you get that job? Well, uh, I'm good friends with Ben's nephew and he was been talking about what to make this documentary for a while and he started to work on it. And I became a producer by pl- supplying money, recruiting some other people with money, providing technical advice on what equipment to use and some of it shot on some of my cameras and lenses. Ah. Do you make money okay. at it because you uh, like help help fund it? Is it something you make? Is there money to be made in something like that? I don't know if it's actually made any money yet in terms of you sign a deal for distribution and the distributors essentially, once the distributors get paid, any other money you actually see, but I don't know if there's been any money above and beyond the cost of distribution so far. Well, maybe. But to, to be yet. a producer, all you really have to do is give money. Is that so right? What's yeah. the difference yeah. between that and, and the title I see a lot, executive producer? More money. The executive producers do absolutely nothing but give money. Yeah. Hi, Peggy. Bob, I have a question. How do you keep your chicken up so late? <laughs> I would love to have a chicken to rock the bed. Uh, Am I? (laughs) Just a minute. You there? We can hear you. Oh yeah, I couldn't tell. Um, I just leave the lights on. But they eventually poop out. They'll they'll climb up. They'll jump up here and they'll they'll poop out. Yeah. Oh, they'll figure out that you're faking faking daylight, huh? Yeah, well, I, it, yeah, because they get tired. I also well, then how do you how do you keep them from pooping down your back? <laughs> well, they they do if they're facing the wrong way. Otherwise, they poop on the floor <laughs> behind the chair. Or if they, they face the other way, they poop down the front. I get yeah, that. <laughs> you, just you just don't wear, you know. I don't dress up. Oh, got it. Okay, I'm just it's dry. It's that. dry. It dry. It, you just brush it. And... I know. I just I I get so mad at my chickens because during the summer I watch the osprey cams, and every baby osprey knows how to turn the right way in the wind to have it go over off the nest. And every morning I have to go in and clean every one of the nests in my chicken coop. Yeah, they're. Why can't chicken? you be more like the ospreys? Chickens Why couldn't they be more like an osprey? I'm so glad I'm recording this. <laughs> Is it an oh, osprey or an osprey? <laughs> yes. 
Well, probably yeah. because they're domesticated and they know that somebody's going to come in and clean I mean, up. it's the V-22. <laughs> yeah. Well, they make no effort to keep things clean, I can assure yeah, you. They, they know you're going to come in. They know, know I'm well, going to come clean them up. That's one of the things that got lost um, during domestication. Yeah. Got it. Hi, Jeff. And the problem with cats. Oh. Uber and Jeff's hotel. bedroom. No, we're in a hotel room, so. Which is your bedroom. Your temporary bedroom. I mean, temporary bedroom, yeah. <laughs> You got hat hair, huh? Where are you, Jeff? I'm in Philadelphia at a board game convention. <gasps> a board game convention? Do they play Risk there? I mean, they play just about everything here. I um, want to play Risk, really big. but not over Zoom because that's ridiculous. I mean, that sounds ridiculous. I want to play Musical Risk with the old version, the version, the first version that came out. We actually have a, uh, we actually have a section of the convention that's called Classic Cardboard. That is like literally the older versions of many games. Um, and it's, yeah, they have Classic Risk. They have Classic, lots of things. And so do people just sit and play games or do you, what's, what's the, or you, is the place to buy things? What's the deal? It's both. It's it's like it's a really big uh, convention, um, and there's um, you can buy stuff. There's plenty of free play space to play whatever. A lot of uh, exhibitors come and demo games. And uh, is Evan Bernstein uh, and, and company there? I have no idea, but probably. What, what game first, people? Huh? Like from his What Game First po podcast? Yeah, yeah. No, I mean. I would hope that maybe he would show up, but I have no idea, um, to be honest. I don't know if they, they plan, on, plan on coming out. It's called Pax Unplugged, and it's really a lot of fun. How many people do you think are going to show up for the height of it? Um, something <laughs> on the order of, I think it's in the, well, uh, it's in the five to 6,000 range, somewhere in there. Oh, my God. And mm -hmm. we can't get people care more people about board games skeptical. and skepticism. Oh my god, what that's a ridiculous! Well, and, I don't get it. Yeah, may, maybe the people organizing skeptics conferences are more concerned about um, the the science of whether or not it's a good idea to get. Yeah, I was just going to say, room. Jeff, what, how are you guys managing to stay safe like that? I mean, we have the whole Pennsylvania Convention Center, which is quite large. The convention center itself is mandating everybody be masked, everybody be fully vaccinated, and are doing control checks on everybody's cards. Um, and uh, in general, we are uh, we have all of. So I'm actually the line management head of department. So my job is to make sure that all of the lines have appropriate indicators in order to make sure that people know what appropriate spacing looks like, and also that you know the idea being that. Um, we're not like, unlike previous conventions where we have compacted people to make sure as many people can fit in the line as possible. Obviously we are not doing that. And we're, um, we're doing a lot of things to basically be actively, to be as proactive as we can be. And there's also hand sanitizer at every single place that anybody can play a board game and signs up all over the place that say, before you play a board game, because cardboard's really hard to clean, please hand sanitize your hands before you play as as part of a way to try to stay safe so and and what do you do if someone wears their mask below their nose yes their mask must fully kill them. cover over their nose no but what, what 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 do you do you cut it off what do you mean <laughs> if someone walks around with their mask down here oh they're kicked out happens they're kicked out they can't stay they're gone yeah immediately yeah has, that's has, that's has it happened that's yet flagrant yeah. violation of the rules they're has wrong. it happened? Has it happened yet? It happened at West, and we did that exactly there. Like we kicked out a few people. It really wasn't bad at West, um, which was uh, back in August. Um, we really only had a few people who, like, who didn't take a kind reminder to you must have your mask over your nose and face, and like people who got a second warning were kicked out. I feel like people who like board games would really be into following rules too. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good point. Agreed. Yeah. They are. That's a good point. 
But first, first they have to roll a multi-sided dice to decide what to do about the rules. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if they went to all the trouble to go to the conference, to be at that place and pay the money yeah. and to be there. Like, They're going to be like, oh no, I am not getting kicked out of this. One I'm of not the here to make one a reasons point. that people come to this conference is because a lot of people have games that are not terribly popular because they are either too long or too complicated to get <laughs> enough people to play. And this is the only time when enough people who have that those proclivities get together. <laughs> so like we run like five or six tables of Twilight Imperium, which is a game that takes approximately 12 hours to play. Like that's that's gives you an idea. And like we call them tournaments, but really the fact that they finish a game of Twilight Imperium means everybody wins. Wow. Um, <laughs> So yeah, it's a like that's the kind of like crowd. So nobody wants to get kicked out. Everybody I, is here specifically like because they can't really get like they can't really get enough eyes. They can't really get enough people to either play a game that they want to play or things like that. So hi Kevin, hi Ben. Ben looks like hi, he's uh, hi everybody. got like the star uh, over his head that's gonna you know bring him to baby Jesus or something. Is that the star? He the is star? the target under the star, so he is the baby Jesus. And look, Aaron's <laughs> here. Hi, Aaron. Hi. I haven't seen you in ages. Did you get your hair redone or permed or something there? I, I, it's probably been colored since the last time I was on here. Wow, where have you I been? Went, I went from gray to blonde, um, to, a, to a light blonde. Wait, oh, so the color changed. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize the color changed. I thought the style had changed. Oh, it's probably oh, just, it's, it's probably just pulled to the side a little more. It's less curly. Some days it's curlier than others. Well, it's been so oh. long since we saw you. I liked your Columbia Zoom call. Uh, thank you. Oh, I love that. That's how long it's been. There was one we had, one where we were talking about um, uh, Rocky Horror and we all started putting up different, um, different images and I threw Columbia up in oh, there. Oh, gosh, still that has been a while. <laughs> Rocky Horror. I'm a, I'm Columbia. I'm not Columbia. I'm Magenta. Magenta. I'm Magenta. Magenta. All oh, the you're way. Magenta too. Yeah. Magenta. Yeah. I think he says it at one point. Aaron, <laughs> I Aaron, couldn't get my outfit forget, anymore. Aaron, do you sometimes forget there's Spock behind you and do a double take until you realize it's just Spock? <laughs> oh, oh, I, I, I will occasionally look back and say hi. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hi. Yeah. Hi. You didn't recognize it, but out of the corner of your eye. Hi, Alan. Alan's here. Hi, Dad. Hey, Alan. Hi, Dad. Hey, Alan. Hey. <laughs> That's funny. All right, so we're about ready. Here's Deborah's coming in eventually. <laughs> there she is. Kyle's here. She comes in like the tide, doesn't she? Deborah comes in like the tide. Yep, that makes sense. Let's make sure everybody who's supposed to have a category. Leonard, Deborah, Kevin. Rob and Carl. Okay, everybody's here. So, hi, Kyle. Hello. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good, good evening. evening. I saw you had something, another good topic this oh. week, and I didn't listen to it yet. What was the title of your show? Oh, the bike share repropagation. Oh, yeah. I got to get you the exact name, but they were looking at all these data from city bike systems and how they make those more efficient. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I've seen an article in WAPO about. Um, Everybody should, they should just give everybody an e-bike uh, for, uh, in, in New York and get rid and, you know, close down the lot of the roads and stuff. And it was, a, huh. it might be a big deal now coming up. The last, the guy who wrote it was, um, his name is Caspian. That's his middle name, but he, he writes, <laughs> no, it's, he's got three names, Blomp, 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 Caspian, Blomp, something like that. And he's, um. He's a opinion writer for the WAPO, but they were talking about e bikes and how important it was that um, we, you know, it helped with climate change and traffic and all sorts of stuff. And then they interviewed him on MSNBC, Chris Hayes. And Chris Hayes says that since the pandemic, he's been doing all his errands on an e bike. And it's been <laughs> I, wonderful. I can guarantee you they are not going to replace all the cars in New York with e bikes. <laughs> well, or, or trucks. It was an interesting idea to think that if you yeah. got more people, if you go to the Netherlands, uh, I was in, um, where was I? I was in uh, Copenhagen and all, you know, all those areas over there in Germany and stuff. They have. Well, you, Amsterdam is amazing. Yeah, well, it's Amsterdam all about everybody just, rides a bike. Vegetables. 
And it's yeah. like, yeah, you come out of the train station and there's like th triple decks of bikes stacked up on top of each other. It's like, that is the way you do things. Well, you know, we went to Tivoli Park and outside there were more bikes than I'd ever seen. I don't know how you find your bike, frankly. Yeah, I guess you just like randomly. Little... There Maybe weren't yeah, numbered spots or anything. Yeah, but in New York, they get they all get stolen. So, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know, but it was pretty interesting. Okay, I'm going to break you guys that, out. That would be the least of the problems. Okay, five. And we'll have we'll have a few other people join us. So that's how it is. Okay, so we're leaving off of Leonard is going to be room one, right? Yep. You're and ready I to apologize. In, I apologize in advance. Oh, uh, <laughs> Deborah's going to room yeah, two. Yeah, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Room three is Kevin. You know that, right, Kevin? Okay. Okay. So I guess I should put somebody in that room now. Uh, Robert is in room four. Oh, Avi's going to miss mine again. Yeah. Uh, oh, so am I. Oh, well, he'll, oh, you can watch the video. Okay. And then five is Carl. I, have you, have you done a bonus before? Yes. I did um, EGOT winners. Oh. Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, Tony. Hmm. I got to put Bob in both rooms. Otherwise, he looks like he's in the same room. <clears throat> Bobby. Yeah, okay. There, Pat, Bob, Bob. Let's see. Oh, I, I also did uh, Federal Reserve Banks as a bonus. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay, I need to put more people in this room. Oh, where is Caspian? Probably on his way, way to the house, and he'll join in a little bit. For um, he was here last night. We drove him to Sterling to uh, the airport. All right, Alan. Okay, one, one, two, three four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, I need to move. Don't mind me, I'm just talking out loud. Okay, and then I could put. So when I was over at Susan's last Thursday, uh, uh, yeah. Um, Saturday. Over the, Saturday. Over the, Saturday. Over the weekend. Um, was the first time I'd seen Caspian in real life. Oh. And, um, ever? Really? Ever. Ever. Wow. And he looked strangely three-dimensional. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm used to, I, I've seen him many times now um, on, as a, you know, in a little rectangle of my computer screen, but he's, he's actually three-dimensional. It, it, it was quite a surprise. I, I noticed that about Newman when we finally met him up here too. Yeah. And I met Jeff and Julie, the same kind of thing. Speaking of the devil, here comes Caspian. I was I was at, I was at a little speakers thing the other day, and it, the conversation came up about I don't forgot what the, there's a name for it, but it's like almost like an affliction that we all have now. If you get up and you do any speaking on a stage, we're so accustomed to talking in this little rectangle. <laughs> that people are forgetting how to use their feet and move around on the oh. stage. <laughs> how interesting. Huh. Uh-huh. One uh, uh, columnist commented that after the um, uh, Democratic National Convention, when Biden and uh, Harris were on, this, on a platform by themselves uh, talking on Zoom, they said it felt like, didn't like they, that they weren't talking to an audience, they were talking to that, that writer just them. And, had, and I agree. I looked at it and I said, yeah, that does feel a lot more personal. Mm -hmm. yeah, when they're uh, that way. Oh. Yeah. As, as the, a member of the audience, um, it's a very different feeling, but I can imagine right. that when you are doing it, uh, especially if it's just the, the person looking at a camera right. or looking at the camera on the, you know, the top of their laptop screen, uh -huh. um, the complete lack of audience feedback right. mm. is, oh, it is odd. devastating. Yeah. Well, uh, I did, I did, a, I, I did my, this little program I do with my fiddle and I was taught and I it was a zoom thing. And so I had, I, 
I put everybody, I put it on gallery and, but dead center I had, there was a, it was a, it was an adult group and there was a guy who just had his picture up there. But the thing is, it was a picture of him with this great big smile. So for the whole time, it didn't matter what I said, I got a laugh. And it was great. You just looked at him. Yeah, well, if I do talks in real life and you're on the stage, you look at the person who's giving you full eye contact and nodding and smiling. So I guess you did the same thing on Zoom, huh? Yeah. So we, we've attended a bunch of uh, comedy shows and that's just got to be horrible for the comedians. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, occasionally the people running it say, okay, this is not working. Let's open some microphones up. They don't open everyone because there's like 100 people on. And like, it basically, if you think your house is going to be quiet enough, except for feedback or laughing, you know, please tell us and we'll open your microphone. But invariably, the phone rings or the dog is barking or the kid's crying. It's, it's, you can't win. It's like horrible. Well, I think once we get to, uh, done with this Zoom world that we're living in now, I think I think we're going least, to at least uh, I think at least yeah. the comedians are going to be damn good because they have lived this right. horrible time. Yeah, either that or they're going to be horrible because no, because they just weren't making anything better. Yeah, new feedback. Hi, Caspian. We were just talking about you. The three-dimensional you. Oh, and I have to ask Leonard: Was, was Caspian any more sharp and focused in real life? than he is now <laughs> yes it's very foggy and blurry i don't know what that's yeah about. he his well, contrast was noticeably higher hmm. um and he was uh just amazingly three-dimensional it was uh, and he makes really good pies it. too oh, the pies and were Caspian was leonard better focused and three-dimensional <laughs> oh significantly and with less um what you call it uh hey. psychedelia behind him <laughs> oh sorry let me uh let me let me and caspian that. made pumpkin pies with pecans on it it was so I'm, good I'm i heard so I bad. A fog machine he sorry. made it he made the mistake I, I, of making I forgot. two oh, nice. pumpkin pies uh, that were one was made with real pumpkin like he took a cut pumpkin and and cooked it and used it to make the pumpkin pie and then the other one he used canned pumpkin pie mix and so of course you've got these two pumpkin you have to have two pieces because you got to tell see which one's better than the other and then you eat those and then you say i'm not quite sure can I have some more? <laughs> oh my my stomach hurts so bad because i would eaten so much gosh and paula made fresh whipped cream well tell us the outcome of the single blind test uh the, yeah. the the pumpkin that was made from the pumpkin like in the oven i think it was slightly sweeter and better wow but then right. you never know you know we to that there was disagreement. Some people liked one and some people liked the other. Oh, I didn't realize that. I thought it was just, I, I guess I was out of the room when that was made. They were I think we all delicious. agreed that the crust was awesome. Oh, the crust was just, let's just. The crust, the crust was really great. Okay, so I'm going to put you guys in your rooms now. Okay, who made the crust? Caspian. Oh, did. Caspian, Caspian did. He did it all. He's getting really good at it. It's a gene he has. The pie gene, we call it. Pie gene. Mm -hmm. Interesting. <clears throat> you're muted susan <laughs> well it was so important what i was saying too God. Right. i'm well, sure you're saying anything i was saying that i get lonely over here you guys are gone so long so i had to call you back we, i feel we like that's the first uh, time she's ever been muted i know yeah, same here exactly. what, I, I, think, I think we can't uh keep it to ourselves guys we need to show the whole the whole class what we were discussing Jar Jar oh. Binks came up and uh, <laughs> somebody it? didn't know what Jar Jar looked like. So I did, I did. A Google search to show a picture. It was and of great. Course, what's one of the ones that comes up? Buff Jar Jar. Buff oh. Jar Jar. Nice. I don't remember. I don't remember that Jar Jar. No. Yeah, no. I don't either. <laughs> Where did uh, Jar Jar made, come from? <laughs> that might have made the movie more interesting. Uh, hell, I Jim, yeah. apparently. <laughs> the yeah. Jim. Yeah. <laughs> that, George Lucas. That Jar Jar, George Lucas. Yeah, that Jar Jar better. came from the Jim. Uh, yeah. the, the Jar Jar in the movie. Uh, 
He, co- he coming from the planet Jamaica because that's what he sound like. He, yeah. he cheats on his girlfriend, not on his workout. Oh. <laughs> For anybody who wasn't hey, here last week, that, that, that was, that was a, a call back to last week. I did. I didn't need to be reminded of that. Uh, <laughs> hi, Karen. Karen's here. Hi, Karen. Hello, hello, Karen. hello, hello. I added her to a group at the very last minute and let you guys at least stay long enough to say hello. <laughs> that was that was about it. All righty, Rue. Here we go. So let's do our group names. <clears throat> Avi, Bob, Leonard, Wilma, and Karen, who are you tonight? We are the Psychedelic Skeptics and the Psychic Skeptical Fellow. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, that's a mouthful. Okay. Yeah, I hear that that's Leonard. Fun that one psychedelic okay. Skeptics and the Psychic Skeptical Fellow. Oh, that fits. Okay. It doesn't fit on your team name, but I'll, I'll try. Okay, here we go. And the sigh, it comes out to sigh. That's as far as it comes out to. Okay. So Psychi- the psychedelic skeptics and the sigh. And the sky like and the, the sigh. Like the, the, CSI, the, CSY. Sigh. sigh. All right. Alan, Deborah, Aaron, Janine, and Jeff. We are the Swiss Death Dash app writers. Oh, oh, app. I, I didn't know there was an app. I thought it was just a thing they were making. There isn't. There isn't. We're, we're writing it. it. We're writing <laughs> it. If you, if you need a suicide vehicle, let us know. Oh Wait, what is this Swiss death dash thing? It's scary <laughs> looking, let me tell you. You can bring it to your home and you they you lay in it. It's for assisted death. You oh, lay yeah. in it and it yeah, takes yeah. your oxygen. It puts you to sleep and takes away. Oh, mm-hmm. Just the and oh, actually, I, I thought I thought you got to buy one and you could take it any place you wanted to die. Avi, it's like Uber. You can just <laughs> you, you get an app, you call them up, and they'll bring it over, and uh, you can you can die that way. Yes, uh, now that actually, I bet there's money to be made in that. I don't know if I want to continue this conversation, but I bet there's money in it. Peggy, Kevin, Kyle, and Jane. Yeah, there, there's money in the prosecutors that will be prosecuting you and getting you into jail. Maybe not in this in Switzerland. I thought it was in a. I thought it was Danish. It's Swiss. I, it's, I, Swiss it's Swiss now. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Aaron. Do they come up with a watch? Okay, so Peggy, Kevin, Kyle, and Jane. Is if you're on this call? call, if you're on this call, you're being laid off. I've been on one of those calls. <laughs> no. I hear that. What? Yeah. What? Where did that come I, from? Some, I, some I, guy I, laid 800 off. people got fired on a Zoom call. On a Zoom call. How many people? Oh, 900. 900. Oh. Wow. 900. I didn't know they were laying people off. I didn't know you could no, get not Zoom. One not Zoom. There were a company that called uh, all hands meeting supposedly on a Zoom, uh, using Zoom, and everyone was only invited who was going to be laid off, and that's what they told them. What kind uh, of company was it? Uh, mor- mor- mortgage. They were all broken. Yeah, it was a mortgage company. company. Uh, my, my, co- three minute my company. My company put out a, a mass mailing of we have a nine o'clock meeting, and then they followed that up with a mass mailing to some other people. We have a ten thirty meeting. <laughs> and, and the nine o'clock people heard about the ten thirty meeting, and we all knew what we were getting on a nine o'clock call for. <laughs> oh, wow. yeah, Carl, Carl, and I went through that at, at yep. our past job. We all got called into the uh, cafeteria. <clears throat> we all got laid off. So, Peggy, if you're on this call, do you hang up really quickly? Does that mean you don't get laid off? <laughs> well, I, I think the wise thing to do for the people who had their ear to the ground was not be on that Zoom call. Yeah, I haven't been in place and pretend like your video froze. You have deniability. <laughs> really. like, Sorry, I missed all, the meeting. I was busy working. All of, the, all of the computers of the people who were on the list were shut down by the company. So even if you weren't on the meeting, you wouldn't have been able to do anything because they just they just yanked them. Wow. Is it just me or look at Peggy, you guys? Don't move, Peggy. No, don't go back to your normal <laughs> where you were. Does she have little horns coming out of her head there with the? Yes. <laughs> no. You'll feel up there, Peggy, and see a candle there. Okay, yeah. so Ben, Paula, Rob, Terry, and Caspian, what are you playing as tonight? Canadian Jawas say Poutini. 
I love it. <laughs> Canadian jawline <laughs> that have to do with the. Uh, I guess it has something to do with the uh, Jar Jar Buff Jar Jar. No. Well, yeah. you got You got to oh, recognize well. the play on words. This is three movies before Jar Jar. Uh, <laughs> Brandy, Brandy, Isabella, James, and Carl. I got it, Caspian. Jewish Space Laser One, Fox Christmas Tree Zero. What happened with it? What happened? Fox we, we Christmas were... Tree caught on fire. Oh, it was lit on fire. It was lit on fire by somebody who has mental issues. And they Susan, did you like the video I sent you about it? Oh yeah. And and they went and the news hosts went nuts going on and on and on about how like it was a it was a conspiracy from the Democrat yeah. Yeah. and Tifa. It's a big cultural war. No. It was on and on. It's ob- it was obviously Antifa. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. They've already got the guy and he's not right and he he's a whack job he's mentally ill. otherwise known as antifa yeah i was gonna say <laughs> that just, that just puts him in the right in the category that fox is putting him in i mean uh, i'll just say that exactly really sad okay so more on christmas trees more on christmas trees. okay yeah. oh did you hear oh this is what the okay i'll say this and then we're gonna start so on fox news they were doing this thing i guess it was um colbert of course and he was doing he was he was he played a little bit of what one of those Fox News hosts said, and she says, "It's a war on Christmas and and Jesus and Hanukkah." Is a, <laughs> on a tree, tree yeah. by burning down the tree. Oh, that's was like, funny. And, uh, well, yeah, all those, all those Hanukkah goes, bushes. Yeah, he goes. Yeah, he says, "Oh, Ainsley, you are our president." <laughs> Yeah. Oh, and one of the it. other guys called it a holiday tree. They said, "Boy, he's gonna get he's gonna get in so much trouble about calling it Christmas oh. tree." Okay. Oh he, man, he, he, he's, been su- he's been suspended for the next week. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. He'll be on vacation. Yeah. 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 All right. Unplanned. So here we are on the 9th of December, Nueve de Diciembre, 2021. And we are at game 84, 84, season two, episode number 27. Yes, folks, we are at season two, episode 27, which is freaking insane to believe that we're on game 84. We have five elite groups who are all going to vile, vile, vie to be <laughs> the supreme and duke it out uh, over trivia the next few hours to see who can reign to be the most important impressive group of trivia trivialists ever ever in game 84 season 2 episode 27 and so tonight 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 we have together psychedelic skeptics and the skeptic skeptical fair fellow i almost said fairy playing against oh ooh, here comes karen again i got it okay i think i okay playing against the swiss death dash app writers Versus, if you were on this call, you are being laid off. Versus, Canadian Jawa say Putini. <laughs> versus, Jewish Space Laser One, Fox News, Fox Christmas Tree Zero. <clears throat> so at this moment, we are all tied for first place and last place. And this is the moment <laughs> where you say to yourself, "Who, who, who?" Owls everywhere are saying. Who will be the winner of the team, the, the prize tonight? It's going to be amazing, electrifying, stay up all night kind of thing. Our leader. What's the prize? I can't afford to stay up all night. I have a final tomorrow. <laughs> so smart. What are you well, doing wait. here? You know what I don't I mean. know. What's watch, your watch final in, Isabel? She's hoping huh? the final will be. Oh, What's your I have final a, in? I have a, I have a, um, well, I have a dissection tomorrow. We're <laughs> dissecting. Nice. We're dissecting a cat. It's, <gasps> co- it's college. If it's a final tomorrow, aren't you supposed to be up all night? Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Cats. I can't really we study all. for it, though, but we're getting graded on, like, how we, yeah. Yeah, so she's going to dissect <laughs> cats all night until she gets, No, I'm dissecting one cat, and it was either that. I couldn't get the cadaver. I was really upset. I wanted to dissect the cadaver, but I couldn't. I didn't get, I didn't sign up in time. So well, now I'm dissecting the, a cat. The, the, Dana, the Swiss death people will, will 
<laughs> send over an Uber for with anyway. I know. The so cat, we had like the one day to do the cat because when we did we dissected a cat in anatomy, it was the like the whole quarter. Yeah. You no, know, we're doing it. That's our final. That's our lab final. So we wow. have six hours. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm wow. kind of excited. It sounds really weird. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I'm, exci- I'm really yeah. excited to dissect a cat. It's not like that. It's just, yeah. So is there more than one way to skin a dead cat? <laughs> no. well, well, she'll find out tomorrow. Okay. So Are you going to leaders- assume the cause of death? Yeah. What if the cat, what if the cat stays alive? Do you have to kill him, kill him nine no, times? No, good God, no. How many lives? This cat's son is nine lives. Okay. Oh, how awful. I don't even want to hear it. I'm just oh, it was, it was wonderful. It was one of the best things I ever did. Oh, <laughs> we no. did sharks. Okay, so anyway, now that I'm depressed. So I'm sorry. Someone <laughs> is going to be littered. I'm sorry. It's okay. Susan the cat doesn't have a name. Oh, so it's okay. okay. It's, it is, we're going to name it Susan. Somebody. We're going to name the cat Susan. <laughs> and then we had to name the cadavers we dissected. And then it's Rob. <laughs> and plus it's Bob. I, I had to step okay. away a bit. Did I miss something that you're crying? <laughs> Never mind. Don't even tell me. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd you go? Good call, Rob. I had to get some water. Isabella's dissecting a cat. Stop. Oh, stop, stop. <laughs> For physiology. And she's excited. Uh, all right, don't. Okay, you know what? Cat in the, the Christmas tree, Rob. I can't believe you used didn't use that as a team name. My goodness, people, oh. what's wrong with you? Come right. next week. Don't the worry, they student. only everything's use wrong with me. We're real assholes. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. Try oh, telling me that. Okay. okay, so Leonard, you're up, and please, no cat. Yeah, cats that hurt birds. Just there are there are no cats involved in my category. Oh, um, category, get it? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, apologize, I apologize in advance. I do not expect high scores. The okay. title, the uh, uh, topic of my category, cat. Uh, just went into the chat uh, for a list of uh, space missions. What was the date of arrival? Ooh. Oh my for God. these missions to Mars. I will give you 10 dates labeled one through 10. <laughs> and that is here. That should all go in at once. Mm-hmm. And then there are 10 missions labeled a through J and you need to match them up. Wait. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, that seems quite uh... quite quite straightforward. Right. All right. I was gonna say that seems simple enough, but no, straightforward is a better phrase. It's, well, it's straight, I understand it's straightforward. <laughs> I, um, I do not expect any zeros, but I do not expect many tens or high scores. Okay. All right. So, Leonard or James, do you want to send us to our rooms? Sending you. I have to change my background screen. That's better. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's good. I like that one. Where did it go? Hi, team. Hi. I would just wait for Karen. Did we get her into the room? Need to put her new thingy in the room. It says she's not joined, so she's she's right because you need to need to put her new. Um, her phone was in in here. Now now you need to put her new her computer in or whatever. I only see. I only see. She wasn't just. You need, you need to assign her to our room again. There's no. There's nobody to to be assigned. It's just. Mm-hmm. So she must have not got there's. She probably has two accounts, but one's here, but the other one hasn't logged in yet. Oh. Karen! (laughs) 
I go outside and yell it. This could be our survival dates. <laughs> Never got Karen, so. Okay, so I think number one is perseverance because I remember. Um, There's Karen. Uh, the, the rogues talking about it. The rogues. Uh, well, we call them the rogues now. Yes. The rogues. the rogues. The rogues. And I, uh, perseverance, and I remember that because, um, uh, the Bob or Kara, no, because Kara kept Kara, accidentally, Kara pronouncing it, uh, accidentally pronouncing it perseverance because that's a psychology word or something. <laughs> so I think number one is um, perseverance. That's the only one that I'm sure. Of. Well, that's the only one that I'm confident about. I'm not sure about it, but I'm confident. Confident enough that, yeah. Um, I didn't know that Viking one ever arrived at Mars. Oh, it probably. Uh, well, this is tentative dates. Didn't say they could have. Wasn't he said that some? My guess is that it, he means all because I don't think Viking was a lander, so or or rover or anything. It was just a saddle. It was like a flying thing that yeah, just seventy six. That's the only one I know. Viking. Okay, so I guess uh, two is Viking one. Uh, two thousand fourteen, I think was. I remember Sterling and I watching that land. Was that Curiosity? Maybe. I know Curiosity was while I was alive, um, but I don't remember which one. Um, I remember I took photos of us sitting at the desk watching it happen, and I'm. It feels I, like it was curiosity, but I'm I'm not a zillion percent sure, but it would be about 2014. That sounds that right. Sounds right. I, was the Mar Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, was that a recent one or was that an older one? Doesn't sound familiar, so maybe not familiar at all. What is this Mag Magdalene? I've never heard of that. I have Magellan. Magellan. Oh, I've Magellan. never heard of it. Never no. heard of it. Well, it's close to Magellan, but I'm um, Mangalayan. Oh, Mangala Mangalayan. Are, are we doing? Are we doing? Um, sorry, which one? Curiosity for 2014. So nine is D. That's what I guess. Yes. It's my guess. Okay, dig into it. Mangalayan. I don't know what that is. For some reason, I'm thinking that. Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter was somewhat recent. So maybe put that down for number three. Okay. Although for some reason I'm thinking that three should actually, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter would have been nine and then the curiosity was three, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, was there a 2012? On that list, I didn't see it. Yeah, yeah, three. Gosh, I hope that was the one I was thinking. I hope it's twenty fourteen. I'm thinking of. Yeah. Um. Wait, let me think of what color my hair was. Because in twenty fourteen, I'd had chemo, so I had no hair, and in twenty twelve, I had black hair. So I'm thinking of a picture. I'm pretty sure it was twenty twelve. So you're thinking the curiosity is number three? Yeah, 2012, because I'm, okay. I think I'm pitched, I think I can see my picture that I took of us. And I think that I have actually, black hair. That makes that I, I kind of think you're right because um I seem to recall that the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter was more recent than Curiosity. Okay. So that makes that the uh number nine, 2014? Yeah. yeah. So C oh, is, Nine is C. Well, let's see where am I going to put it. We have it. Romero on Leonard. 
What have you done? Five. I have, he apologized. I have, I, I have constructed a difficult, I have constructed a difficult category. Well done. But the, um, uh, the, the goal was to have a spread of answers. Yes, a, and I think that a spread think of results. There. Where did I just see, where's my- well, well, one I, thing I, we I, can I, say I, is that, well, although this is not technically, uh, this is technically a non sequitur, I think because I don't know anything about the Mariners, I'm going to assume that Mariner 4 was aimed to arrive before Mariner 9, although that doesn't necessarily follow. Um, I was going to put him in room. But, um, Shoot. And, and I also had the goal of no one getting zero, which may not have been succeeded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so are you uh, close to done or? Oh, good I think Lord. about halfway. All right. Yeah, I'll just oh, keep cycling um, through the rooms. Okay. Um, I've never heard of Mars Odyssey or Mars Express. None, that, I think Mars Express is a candy bar. Yeah, I think so too. I think, didn't he say the way he worded it? He made it sound like these are the, these were potential or these were, he made it sound like they couldn't, they might not have all landed on Mars, but they were all supposed to go to Mars. And these were the days it was supposed to land because there hasn't been 10 objects landing. Well, he's worded it interestingly is arrival to Mars. He doesn't say landed on right. Mars. Right. Because like we have an orbiter, which is orbiting and then Viking. Right would have just went past Mars. It would have probably just visited Mars, but it didn't land there. Um, yeah, that's what I think. I don't think they, What's that might make sense why we don't know what they are. Pathfinder was. Okay, so the first one we don't have down, I think is number four. Correct, yes. What should we guess for number four? Well, these should be in order. That would make it more easy. Oh, annoying. I don't know why it's not. It's highly annoying. It, it makes it harder. One thing about Pathfinder, somebody mentioned Pathfinder. Um, Clinton was president then. Okay. Oh, that's, the, that's a good clue. So Pathfinder. Then we should put that for number five. Darn it, he, was, he had to be on for eight years, right? So we should put that for number five then. 97? Well, when was he president? From when till when? Well, um, he was president when I was in second grade, so. Um, oh, oh, that's just Susan, yeah, no, never mind. He was inaugurated in 93. He won so the yeah, he was definitely still president in, in 97. He won the so. 92 election, it was inaugurated in January in 93. That makes so sense. We'll be a pathfinder. But he wasn't done until when then? Eight years after. Two terms. Yeah, yeah so. Like, yeah, the next, but the next one there, is 2001 and yes. that was um bush oh yeah october 2001 was bush that's correct okay yeah. so 97 has to be during the clinton era and you say that was pathfinder that was yeah that would be the only correctly. one there that okay so five has to be i okay so what do we have for four i'm sorry did we have something for four no okay no. do you um, think that viking one could have been during bush's administration Oh no, that was no, Viking one. That was like, uh, I mean, we have that in seventy six. Yeah, Viking one. Your high. So what does it sound like that it would have been in Bush's administration? I don't think anything I'm landed. Thinking, I'm thinking uh, J for seventy one. So J yeah. for number four, okay. and G for number ten. Mariner four for number ten. Okay. Just because that sounds like a name that would have been chosen back in the 60s and 70s. Where would we put Perseverance then? The first one for in the Bush era? Uh, per, no, Perseverance was number one. F oh, I'm sorry. Okay, right. Recently. Yeah. So what was Bush? It's, I don't remember anything landing. Do you so we have the Odyssey. We have the Express. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> So it would be something like um, probably one of the orbiters. We have we have left A, B, and E. So Mars Odyssey, Mars Express, and Mangalayan. I've never heard of that Mangalayan. So 
I'm for some reason Odyssey sounds familiar to me vaguely. So maybe we should put I uh, maybe we put that for uh, number seven. What about number eight though? That's even more recent. A for seven. No, no, no. Hold on. Yeah, we could, but like A for eight, because that's more recent. Okay, Avi, how, how old eight? were you in 2003? I mean, I would that would have been in eighth grade. So um that you would have remembered it. Yeah, I mean, I can remember 2001. Too. So A would make more sense because that's so more as Odyssey. How about A for number eight and B for number seven? And that leaves E for number six. Hmm. All right. Do you want me to read off what we got? Yeah, read them and say, say like one A Mars Odyssey. Say it like that. Read the whole thing, please. Okay. How are we right. doing? One Getting there. F, one F perseverance. Two H Viking one. Three D Curiosity Rover. Four J uh oh Mariner nine. Uh five I uh Mars Pathfinder. Six E Mangalian, seven B uh, Mars Express, eight A Mars Odyssey, nine C Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, and ten G Mariner four. That's what I've got written down as well. I just okay. got an email from Karen for an estate sale. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I have no input because in it, was set, state, it was set up to automatically send. Well, that's clever. So a black estate, is that like uh, Harry Potter, the, the black family, the Slytherins? It just sounds weird. The January black estate. Yeah. Is somebody's last name black? I hope it was. Okay. Um, so, I mean, I think that that's good unless anyone has any other inklings no i didn't pay attention to any of this so. all the ink had rolled out of my head so that's it i that's it's probably I, I as good as gonna get comment but i won't say it i bet you caspian's team has these all i i, I guarantee it he was rob. really into this and rob. rob's team too yeah. rob and yeah. carl's and ben's yes. yep. and jeff's there's gonna be a lot of tens. I, I was trying to read Leonard's face, so I knew we were reading them off, but he's he's a pretty good poker player, I think. Damn. I couldn't Damn. tell if he was like disgusted with us or pleasantly surprised or uh, all right. Anyways, Let's I think we did good. Room. Good we'll job. Red, red, so we room. probably cover the low end. We wrote we we we've got six or so, I think. I think so. Okay. Yeah, oh yeah. I think so. We made intelligent discussion de decisions. <laughs> Famous <laughs> last words. Yeah, yeah right. I. Yeah, I'm not so sure. <laughs> I'll see you back in a minute. What's everybody else drinking? Oh, Diet Dr. Pepper. Wilma's not here. What was she drinking? <laughs> She'll be back. Hi, Romero. Susan, amounts of water. Susan, did you watch Susan. that video, that uh, anti-vax yeah. video I sent you? You're weird. What are you doing watching that stuff? I wasn't. One of my friend's moms sent that to her. Oh. Why? Her mom doesn't believe in the vaccine. No. Believe. What does that mean? Believe in? It exists. No, she doesn't. <laughs> she told me because I was on the phone and I, I happened to yell out, oh, I'm changing into my scrubs to go work the vaccine clinic. And her mom, <laughs> yeah, because she was in the room and I was like, okay, I'm going to go change. Like, I'll be right back. And then her, I come back in and her mom's like, you know, she's like, that vaccine's going to make you infertile. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Take well, it I don't the really care. Part, right? I can have children other ways. If that's what this, I decide to do. Oh, I would say, do you want to bet? And put a bunch of money on the line and see what happens. And well, go on, get pregnant, like, Isabella. She was like, how do you feel that you're <laughs> lying? To, she was like, how do you feel that you're lying to old people who are trusting Whoa. you? And I'm like, 
Oh, wow. Wow, she's really well then. Wow. Like, I'm like, I'm okay with that. And then she was like, she was like, I wouldn't trust you. She's like, I never want to meet you. And I'm like, I never want to meet you either. So wow. I don't want to catch COVID from you. <laughs> yeah. You should have told her you're pregnant with twins right now. <laughs> is Isabella is your friend vaccinated? Her daughter is fully vaccinated. Her mom told she... her that she, her mom told her that she was going to disown her. She hasn't disowned her yet, but she we had to go get our boot. She had to go get her booster because now they're requiring we get our booster. So and what I, happens when her mom gets COVID? She's well, gonna deny it. Like, say it's a in flu? her like early sixties, and I'm like, well, she told me she's like, oh yeah, like when I was little, she's like, we were never vaccinated. Like they never got vaccinated until they went to high school. And the school hmm. district was like, why aren't you vaccinated? And my friend, she, she like, she doesn't really care. She's like, yeah, whatever they want, I'll just do it, you know? Mm-hmm. But her mom's like totally against it. Her mom sends her like articles and videos about how like, about the, that the vaccine's like bad for you and that it's going to kill you and that it isn't real and that you're getting tracked. Like, All right. Hey, are we, are we ready? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Aaron. I am getting Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're all getting tracked. I know. We're on Zoom. How do you miss it? I'm so carrying my, my phone. my cell phone with me, right? Yeah, I'm carrying well, my phone with me everywhere. Karen, did I hear you say hi? Hi, Karen. Indeed, okay. she did. Are we ready? Mm-hmm. I think Didn't we got we... six. Go. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm going to put the answers in twice. Uh, once with the full names and dates, and because I wasn't sure uh, how badly Zoom is going to mess with this, let me see if I can fix it before I hit return. Yeah, that looks all right. Um, so this is the names and dates. Oof. And then this is just the letters okay. and numbers. God. If, if, remember, if you expand out your um, chat window, the, the word wrap doesn't get all screwy. Right. Uh, oh, I see that now. What? You oh, didn't but you didn't, do, you, you didn't do I number and letter. Way. Uh, <laughs> everyone did yeah. number and letter. Oh. Yeah, we did by number. F1. Yeah. Uh, uh, H2. Okay. Hey, Leonard, your birthday's on there. D3. It is. Oh, my goodness. My birthday is on there. Yeah. So, you so still the, have birthdays? Oh, my goodness. I five. So the, so the, I was at, at one it? time born. Uh, hey, at holy least shit. that's what my mother told me. Oh, okay. So the first spacecraft to go holy by crap. Mars was Mariner 4 yep. in 1965. Well which uh, I expected a couple of people to possibly know. I assumed that virtually everyone, hopefully everyone, remembered that the most recent thing that landed was Perseverance. And that was in February of 2021. And the uh, Viking landers were planned to the first one, Viking One, was planned to land on July 4th, 1976 for the bicentennial. There was a sandstorm on Mars. So instead of landing then, it landed on what I think was a better date, which was the sixth anniversary of the most important date in human history, July 20th, 1976, the sixth, the um, uh, seventh anniversary of the uh, Apollo landing on the moon. So that was uh, that was reasonably uh, a reasonable giveaway. Uh, and then the next one, the next most recent one from um, from Curiosity, uh, so far from Perseverance, you've got Curiosity and the Indian spacecraft Mangalan. Oh, so that's the only one that uh, uh, isn't uh, uh, isn't in English. There's a, uh, Mars Express is actually a uh, European uh, spacecraft. So is the Indian one an orbiter, and is did that arrive okay? It's functioning. Yep. When did Daffy Duck meet Marvin? 
<clears throat> um, before all of this. Wow. <clears throat> Yeah, pretty, pretty sure, pretty sure, Marvin, right. pretty sure Marvin predates all of these. Susan, I, you're was, right. I, I was right about something. What was I right about? When we do the scores. Okay. Did we get the one right with my hair color? <laughs> yes. Yes. We That's were trying it. to decide something and I said, I remember taking a picture of Sterling and I watching this happen. And I was trying to remember what color my hair was because in 2012, it was one color, 2014, it was a different color. That's how we figured it out. <laughs> I feel silly now, but that was, that's how we figured it out. What color was my hair <clears throat> in the photo? What, whatever, uh, whatever works. It worked, apparently. So has everyone figured out their scores? Yep. I'm mm -hmm. just transferring over the 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 um, answers, answers. To the spreadsheet. Every time copy I copy and pasting the formula that you can't create. No, the problem is, is that every time I go to the chat and copy what's in the chat oh. and paste it, it disappears, and I have to go back and find the has chat. To go to a has to go to it, the chat goes to a different place on the screen. It goes to a different place. It yeah. disappears and it's so the, annoying. And then I forget, what was I doing? <laughs> the confusing thing is we normally, you know, we, I sit here number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But now all the numbers are not, it's now it's by the letters that. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, you did it that's, totally yeah, backwards from I'm, what everyone expected, Leonard. I'm surprised that you didn't yeah. realize that was backwards. But Well, it's not, uh, it's not backwards. It is in fact scrambled. Uh, it's scrambled. Yes, it's scrambled. it's scrambled. I'm having trouble going through it this way. Uh, okay, well, yeah. It's yeah. alphabetical yeah. instead of numerical. You no, know, I copied I, I, and I pasted it Rob. into a Word file, and then and then lined them up, and then you could see. Uh, okay. I, I, think, I think. All right. I got a number. I hope it agrees with what you got, Ben. Yes. Okay, I was off when we 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 mixed two up. That's it. Yes. Right. Yeah. Okay. Good. 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 Which okay. sucks because we could have had it, but oh well. well good yeah. job, team. Good job. Okay, so let's get over to where we have the scores, and for the psychedelic skeptics and the psychic skeptical fellow, which was Rob's, um, Rob, which was Leonard's team, and I was on this too. So how do we do? Six. Just as I planned. Yeah. I'm <laughs> 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 yep. I yeah, predicted our score. You predicted it. Yep. Okay. So the He's Swiss. Psychic. Go figure. <laughs> the Swiss Death Dash app writers. Three. That's what I got. Okay. That's what All I right. got. If you're on this call, you're being laid off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> I Three. Love that name. I love it. Three. I'm already laid off. Yeah. Does that mean I get a job? <laughs> no. <laughs> your, your cat puts a, blank, a towel over you. <laughs> And lays on you. A Canadian Jawa say Putini. Eight. That's the one cat I said. I bet you I bet you cast got them all. Well, Rob, Rob had some. Yeah, it's Rob. But... Oh, Rob was on yeah. there too. Huh? No, everybody, everybody helped. <laughs> yeah. All I remembered where she was when uh, Pathfinder landed. <laughs> That's true. Jewish Space Laser one, Fox Christmas Tree Zero. Ten. Oh, 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 who was the who was the ringer there? Nice. No ringer. Oh, I knew like so much three fun. for sure, and I guessed on one, and everybody else teamed up for the others. Wow, that's amazing. So, I, I, it was purely I kind of reasoned out that Odyssey might be two thousand one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, Very big spread. Not what I expected. But it's Susan, not what I, expected. How much, I, I expected a big spread. Susan, yeah, how uh, much did my did our team get? Um, you had we had six. Oh, cool. That's that's completely uh, right in the middle. Right in the middle. In the middle, and it's it's a good nice spread. I like these spreads. I like it when we have have. It's not always. So, do we get all five um, answers? All five results? Yeah, yeah. six, three, Great. three, eight, and ten. <clears throat> All right. Very good. Thank you, Leonard. That was fun. So I did I did achieve my goal, which was no zeros. No zeros sure and, and a good and a good spread. 
and a good friend. Yeah. Let's start us off, and we'll see what Deborah does to us. Is it going to be about horses, Deborah? No. Well, there there is one horse in it, but yeah. Uh Oh, is it a Charlie horse horse now? Okay. Are you guys ready? Yep. Okay. As you'll ever be. As you'll ever be. So this is, um, I've had trouble figuring out a, a, a title for the topic, but it's basically songs, songwriters, lyrics, all that, that kind of area. Um, the first three are, uh, I found a word for it called mondegreens, which is a mishearing oh. or misinterpretation oh. of the phrase yep. in a way that gives it a new meaning. Mondegreens are most often created by a person listening to a poem or a song. The listener being unable to clearly hear a lyric substitutes words that sound similar and make some kind of sense. So, okay, those are just the first three are those. So the first one is... I mean, you're muting everybody in. Oh yeah, please mute. The first one... Yeah, unmute yourself. You're muted. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong screen. I didn't even see. So the first one is uh, from uh, a song by Bruce Springsteen, Blinded by the Light. And the misheard line is, and I'll put it in the chat too, is wrapped up like a deuce, another rumor in the night. And your job, should you decide to accept it, is to come up with the correct lyric for that. Um, let's see, did I enter? There you go. Um, the second one is from a song by CeeLo Green called Forget You, which I don't know anything. I've never heard, I don't think. Um, and that uh, line is, the misheard line is, I guess he's an expert and I'm more an attorney, which is the incorrect one. So, and the third one is by something by Robin Thicke called Blurred Lines. And the misheard line is mushrooms are nasty. And so you need to come up with the, what the correct line was. <clears throat> Now the next, the question number four is you need to name the song. And it's from a song from 1978 that was uh, number 32 on the Billboard Hot 100. And I didn't, couldn't get my computer to read these well enough for, to do it that way. So I'm just gonna read it myself. So the verse, so the part of the verse is, I like mine with lettuce and tomato, Heinz 57, and French fried potatoes, big kosher pickle, and a cold draft beer. Well, good God almighty, which way do I steer? So you need to come up with the name of that song. Let's see, I'll put this question down in there too. Okay, hopefully this will all fit. Nope, okay. Uh, number five is a multiple choice one. And uh, this song was released in 1969 on the album California Bloodlines. And the album was voted by Rolling Stone magazine as one of the hundred most influential records in rock history. Um, in this song, one verse talks about a horse named Sweetheart on Parade. What is the name of the song? There's that. Right. The next question, number six, is to name the songwriter. And the song is Daydream Believer, which was a number one billboard hit by the monkeys, which I misspelled. I don't want to spell monkeys. Um, in 1967. On the album by the song's writer, there were alternate versions of some of the verses. So the question is who wrote it? And I'm gonna put 
these verses in here, but I'm not gonna put them all at once because it's there's I think four of them. So here is the first one. And maybe I can make it. No, I'm just gonna do the other ones. I'm I'm doing this so that in case these will jog your memory if you hear what else over here. Yeah. <clears throat> And that one. And that one. Yep. Okay. The wrong screen here. There. <clears throat> Okay, so those are all the little extra verses that the writer of that song uh, came up with or thought of. Okay, on question number seven, this is a, the 1971 debut album. And the question is to name either the song or the artist. And here is question seven. <clears throat> and I'll read it. It's the, the verses. Now I can still recall the wheat fields of St. Paul and the morning we got caught robbing from an old hen, old McDonald, he made us work, but then he paid us for what it was worth. Another tank of gas and back on the road again. So either this, either the song or the artist for that one. Um, number eight, uh, the Kenny Rogers song, The Gambler, from his Grammy-winning album of the same name, was written by someone else and recorded by three people before Rogers made it a hit. Name one of the three other people. Okay. And number nine is a, just a short question. Who was the first artist to win back-to-back -back Grammy Record of the Year awards. <clears throat> okay, and number 10, Jerry Jeff Walker released this song in 1972, but it was written by another songwriter who released his own version in 1975. Name that songwriter and the, the beginning of the song is pack up all your dishes make note of all good wishes and say goodbye to the landlord for me that son of bitch has always bored me there and there's a bonus question just to you know fill in if you you can add it if you don't get 10. <laughs> And it's all, it's about the question number 10. Um, what did the song write, the song's writer say in their version of the song that described the landlord doing something that might've contributed to their decision? So um, they were, there we go, let's see here. Mm -hmm. So if you've heard, if you've heard the original songwriter's version of the song, you might remember this part of it. Oh, ah, go back here. Okay, that's it. Good luck. Question a number. Yeah. The name of the composer or composers. Of which question? Question six, the monkeys one. Uh -huh. You you want the name of the composer or composers? Yes. Okay. Yeah, who wrote that song? Got it. And I just put those other verses in there. Um, in if you've heard it, you probably it help. You might help you remember who it was. Any other questions? Okay. 
Ding, ding. From Saunders. Let's see what team you're going to go on. He's going on one of the teams. This one or this one? You are going to go on to. Hello. Hi there. Well, Hi there. Put you on a team. We just, we're just going into teams and you'll love this songs. So you're going to go in. This one's got five people. So you're going over here. It is nice to be back. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So you're going to go on the team called, if you're on this call, you're being laid off. <laughs> I saw the video. Okay. Have fun. And Deborah, you got your powers to move from the room. I guess so. Oh, she's gone. Fans are. And Hi, team. Hey. And Manfred Mann's Earth Band um, did that version of the song by listening to it on the radio. So they picked up the lyrics without like looking them up. What, uh, which one are you working on? We're talking about number one. Blinded by the light. I didn't know that was a Springsteen song. Yep, but I but I think I think the full lyric there is wrapped up like a deuce, another runner in the night. But like I said, that may just be my mishearing of the Manfred Mann song. Wrapped up like a deuce, another could be. That's as good as any. So we want the real. We want the real words. Yeah. Yeah. For the first three. Never heard of two. Anybody heard this song? Yes, but it was originally released online. It wasn't called Forget You. It was a little it was a little cruder than that. Oh, but it started with an F? Yes. <laughs> so do you know the tune? Is it something we would Not, have heard? No, I, I heard it. I heard it in the in the rude version, but I don't remember the lyrics at all. I'm a s I'm going to guess that the misheard lyric has to do with attorney. And I don't know the blurred lines by Robin Thicke, at least if, I don't think I've heard of it. I don't know that song. Either. Mushrooms are nasty. I think this is a harder category than the first one. Oh, this is far harder. Because at least the first one we could guess on putting things plotting into. I life. remembered what color my hair was in the year of something. So that, that helped. This this is nothing. Okay, number four. These lyrics. Is this weird, Al? I like mine with lettuce and tomato. Mine's 57 and French fried potatoes. That could be. So we're trying doesn't, to. Doesn't it doesn't help us to name the song, though. It's no, no. The question is, what what song was he parodying? Because it's probably a very... Oh, so it was. Name. It's not asking what was he parodying. It just says, what is the name? Oh, no, of no. The song? But like the name of the song is always a parody of the... Yes, yes. Original song name. So... So did my singing it help us all to know the song then? <laughs> I like one of the letters in there. I, I have an inkling I've heard this. Could there be a song about, like, um, to all beef patty special sauce, less cheese, pickles, onions, and a sesame seed bun, like that? And this is a parrot, no, like a Burger King or something. Which way do I steer? And it's spelled S T E E R. Does that have? Is that a clue? Something I mean, it could just be a joke. But... Like, uh, where's the beef? Where's the cheeseburger? Where's the hamburger? Could it be a spelling error? Cheeseburger is, is what? How, I mean, it's about a hamburger, spelling. right? What are the lyrics to Cheeseburger in Paradise? Jimmy Buffett. Oh. Cheeseburger in Paradise is that the name of the I, song? I think this might be now that I'm now that I you know you mentioned the cheeseburger. I think this might be the the lyrics from Cheeseburger in Paradise. I've never heard yeah. of Cheeseburger in Paradise. Is that a weird Al Yankovic song? 
No, that's Jimmy Buffett. He does a song about a cheeseburger? Seriously? Yep. yep, seriously. I mean, if he can do a whole song about margaritas, why not do one about cheeseburgers? Well, it does sound like it's about a cheeseburger, right? Yes. Let yep. us you know, Heinz 57. Yeah, so, okay, Aaron, good job, I hope. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> okay, now, Lee's number five, we have a multiple choice. Okay. Never heard of that. I've got lots of dice. <laughs> <laughs> One verse talks about a horse named Sweetheart on parade. Hat is the same as the song. Hat is the name of the song? That is the name of the what? song? It, what, what is? What is? Oh, what is the name of the song? Okay. Uh, So one of these four is a song title. Yeah. Um, Ballad of the Absent Mare. None of them sound familiar to me. But I would go with A because I don't think she'd make up that name. I mean, I think it sounds like a good album title. I just don't picture well, Deborah saying, really good I got to come up with really a title and that's what it's going to be. Yeah. Has anybody ever heard any of these? I was six or seven. I don't care if it was number one most influential records. I was nine and it still didn't help me. Uh, well, if there's a uh, sweetheart, a horse named Sweetheart, Maybe it's the poem to a horse. Could be. <laughs> I, I, That'd be fine. Oh, I still think it's well. Okay, I'm. I don't. Ballad of the Absent Mare in some ways seems just too obvious to be I called. Just, I just don't picture Deborah going. I gotta come up with a title. That's fake. Yeah. Ballad of the Abs. That's the only reason why I think that. That's there's no other reason for that. None of them sound familiar. Yeah. And if we and if we're using that logic, I think poem to a horse sounds more like something she would just make up for a title. Daydream believer. Now I do know this. I could also I could also believe that, you know, she saw that it was called poem to a horse. Yeah. And it was like, okay, I'm going to make something that sounds like an album title. Yep. That you oh, you guys, this is horrible. <laughs> it is. Daydream believers. Sabotage your own team. And the homecoming queen. So, who wrote that? I'm a home and, and and I, how about the Carpenters? Karen Carpenter? Could be there. There was a question asked on whether this meant the composer or composers, which implies to me that somebody knows that two people wrote this. Well, that could be the carpenters. Car the car uh, what's what's the date? Is there a date there? Sixty-seven. What about Carol King? Is she does she, that be predate her? I don't know what she's written. Yeah. She's a daydream. It's just that she wrote lots of stuff for lots of people. Yeah. Yeah. Homecoming queen. The, the 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 lyrics aren't helping me. I was even thinking like Neil Sedaka. He was writing a lot for a lot of different people back then. True. <clears throat> Weren't the Carpenters doing the same thing at the time? And '67 would be about the right era for the for the Carpenters. I, I, I think, don't think they did a lot of writing. I think they just sang. Yeah, I don't know. How far along are you guys? We're on number six. We're arguing about six. Mm. And, and two and three don't necessarily have an answer yet. Don't, mm. know, if they will. don't know if they will either, but they don't. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Daydream deceiver. It just feels like it's a up song. I don't know. Yeah. How much oh, more time do you think we should have? 
what's uh go buzz around a little bit more and see how everybody else is doing come back and we'll, okay maybe by then okay what's what's the guy from ottawa god you know the uh justin beaver no no but for way back um uh, engelberger humperdinck no it's canadian guy uh he's he written he's written a whole bunch Engelbert of stuff. a humperdinck a no. sorry Jeff's gonna cry. Don't cry, Jeff. No, I'm I'm running on about like I just worked kind of a 13 hour day. Well, we know what conferences are like. You don't supposed to do anything except just conference. Yeah, but I wanted to show up for a little bit because I actually like got done with the stuff I needed to get done. And it was trivia time because I had forgotten that, oh yeah, I'm three hours later. So I was like, I, I want to show up for some of it. Well, where are you? Where are you now? I'm in Philadelphia. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> okay, hey, so number seven. The Pennsylvania Convention Center is right next to the Reading Terminal Market, and it is the best thing. It is like it is the best food in Philly, in my opinion. And you can, and you get to have it every day, and it's all different. What? <laughs> Robin that was from a an old man, that was a horrible air. McDonald, he made us work, but then he paid us for what it was worth, another tank of gas, and back on the road again. Back on the road again? Back on the road again. Isn't that um, on their album? Oh, here comes Vincent. On their album. So who Yeah, but that could be that could be one person or a group. Yeah, they may just be being gender neutral on it i'm gonna put vincent over here on would that be fair let me see i just put saunders there okay i'm gonna put vincent on it sounds story like could it be something like arlo guthrie Oh no, it's a debut album. That wouldn't be 1971. Wasn't a country song back on the road again? Isn't that the country song? Yeah, but if they're saying name the song or the artist, I don't think she'd have put the title of the song in the clue. Oh, and I think keep thinking because I think you're on the right track for the Canadian, but I can't think of it either. I, 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 it's funny. Uh, I'm going oh, John Denver, no. um, Kingston Trio, oh, but I was like, no, that's not a uh, Chris Christopherson. No, oh, no. And he did a song even with his daughter, and I can't even remember what. Um, Pat King Cole, didn't he do a song with his daughter? But he wasn't Canadian. But it's not that, not this. It can't be Canadian. There's no A or sorry in there. That's right. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to eight because I, I have no clue for seven. What was this? Grammy Lane singing. It's written by someone else and recorded by three people. What's the question on seven? I'm confused. Name the song or the artist. Or artist. Oh. oh, name the song or the artist. Okay. Oh, I see. Oh, I was thinking of Paul Anka it just because he wrote a lot of stuff for a lot of guys. Oh. That could work. Hmm. That could work. I mean, we have nothing in it right now. Right. So. It's Grammy winning album. My, my first thought for some reason was Glenn Campbell, but I don't know that that. Oh, I remember him. I don't have any idea why I thought that. So I think Paul Anka is fine to, to put in there. How do you spell Anka? A -N -K no, Paul Anka was for, for, can you roll up? Do you have something for six? Oh, this, this is six. This is six. Right. Yeah. Paul Anka. It, okay. it was a, 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 Jeff. Check. Okay. It's not a name, I know. So. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Man. Is that Seven. song something that uh, the, on the road again, that, that's not something that a, uh, uh, God, I'm getting seen now. I can't remember anybody's name. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, 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 I fell into a burning ring of fire. Went down. What's his name? Uh, Johnny Johnny Cash. Yeah. Ring of fire, Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash. Would 1971 be his debut album? No, he was much. No, that's not. Are you talking about seven? 
I think um, it's the Kenny Rogers who who did the Kenny that's Rogers. Back on the road it's, again. Or back uh, on the road Rogers, again. Yeah. That, you know. I thought you were talking not, to Kevin. Not Bojangles. It's um, Bobby and me. Are you talking about uh, the woman? Name of the song or the artist? Is Are you thinking Bobby of uh, Janis Joplin? No. Bobby and me? Bobby McGee? Yeah. That's Janis Joplin, wasn't it? Hmm. But she was in 71, was not a debut. Uh, Bo Bobby McGee was Janis Joplin. Where is that one? Where are we talking about that? I, I, think, Bobby we're, McGee. I think we're talking number seven, aren't we? Me and Bobby McGee is the name of it, I think. Oh. Yeah. Question seven? But doesn't she doesn't she date predate that? When did she yeah, die? she's she's before that. Well, she died in 69, I think, right? Yeah, no, she, she's she's already think, I think she's history by that time. But but the like, song they said to name the song. Are you saying that the 71 debut album but, is not but the, so the song or the artist was on a 1971 debut album? So it could have been hers. It's just that it was a different. But she wouldn't. Oh, I see what we're she saying. She could have been dead, but they recorded it and that was their debut album. That's kind of. Confusing. Well, she didn't even have to do it. Lots of people did that. I don't know if I've ever heard anybody else sing that tune. Me and Bobby. Mm, maybe not. I'm not very. Can you can you somebody the gambler. Can you back the gambler. The gambler. One, one team has gone back. Um, it's yeah. not us. Really? <laughs> that will not us. Not us. Oh, We're, we, right yeah. They said they yeah. don't have all the And we have, we have three We're holes. Too long. All right. I'm going to go visit one more room and then I'm going to come back and then I'm going to call everybody back because oh, we don't want to be here all night. Yeah, we, all we, have, night. we have five holes here right now. Who is the first artist to win back to back Grammy, Grammy Record of the Year awards? Do we know? Number nine? I have no clue. No. Okay. Number 10. Jerry Jeff Walker released the song in 72. But it was written by another songwriter who released his own version in 75. Who was that songwriter? I don't know the song. Pack up all your dishes. Oh, I, no, I'm not singing it right. That's, that's cares and woes. <laughs> yeah, pack up all your dishes, make net of all the good wishes, and say goodbye I, to Glenn order for me that son of a bitch. I don't have any song. idea what that song is. Johnny Cash again. I think we should just put Johnny Cash for everything. <laughs> um, or Dolly Parton. She did a lot of writing and stuff. Okay, the bonus. We got to get the bonus, right? What did the songwriter say in their version of the song? Let's try for two and three. Okay, I'll go to the chat. So, let's see. I think if you don't know the song. Mushrooms are nasty. Nasty, basty, fasty. Mushrooms. Well, it might be also like two words or... They're are nasty. Yeah. Are nasty. Are, are, yeah. Isn't are it in the middle of the night? By the way, isn't it in the middle of the night with uh, uh, I was, I was wrapped up like a douche in the middle of the night? <laughs> but I guess the douche isn't right because I have no idea what it would be. <laughs> yeah, douche is definitely wrong. Um. And and the more I'm looking at it, the more I'm saying I, I think the runner is also a wrong word, but I don't know. I think we should go to nine and ten. I don't, think, I don't think we know any of them. I don't think if I don't think if you like I don't think you can reason two and three without no. right. No. What did the songs writer say in their version of the song that described the landlord doing something that might have contributed? What okay, so what could a, a landlord do that makes somebody leave? Raise the rent. Okay, I'm gonna go sure. call everybody back. Oh, sure, put raise the rent. Okay, so that's a that's a bonus eleven. If I can figure out how. Okay, so John released the song in seventy two, but it's written by that song. I don't. It's know. a he, okay. so it can't be. It can't on number ten. It, it was written by another songwriter who released his own version. 
But Chris Christopherson. Okay, that's I'm, somebody. I can't see because it's like Who's the we first just, artist I can't back to back. get to. Put number I'm nine. Sorry, Johnny Cash or Dolly Parton for the first artist to win back to back Grammy record of the year award. Somebody. Okay. Kenny Rogers song "The Gambler." Put put Johnny Cash. <laughs> sure. <laughs> put Chris Christopherson. Um. We might get lucky. Okay, number 70. two. Two and three is, is there's, there's no way to guess. Those. Okay, so number eight, put uh, put Johnny Cash or, or Dolly Parton or something. Okay. You know who was really popular around that time was Chris Christopherson. Super okay. popular. Okay. That's the name of the hat, actually. We get two points for naming the cat. No cat the section not news, please. That was more I was doing that. I would have never been squeamish like that. I didn't even want to dissect a frog when I was in high school. I didn't really I want to do a frog. But I, I really didn't see anything doing. when you dissect the frog. It's boring. I, I dissected, I I dissected a pig. Fetal pig. I don't a like pig. doing worms. Fetal pig. I did a fetal, fetal pig. pig. I, James, I think you're close to putting everybody on mute now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear about dissecting. Guys, pigs. you guys. Susan, how's Hamilton speaking of cats? You're science-oriented people. This is science. Come right. on. They, they haven't have seen Hamilton for a few days, Isabel. Yeah. I mean, my a picture of my son cutting a sheep's eyeball. No, I don't want to oh. see it. I'm not going to show it. it you yes. don't see, it's not that gross. Thank, goodness. Thanks, no, it is thank that you gross. so much, Kevin. I, I'd rather see Buff Jar Jar again. No, I don't even want to see that. Go ahead, Deborah. Uh, Richard oh. missed. Okay, Richard's everybody, everybody Richard, back? Richard missed Buff Jar Jar. Everybody's yeah, we're all back. See Buff we're Jar Jar. Back. I have to figure out how to make this thing go. Oh, Richard's yeah. here. Hey, Richard's, Richard. on, Richard's on mute. Richard can Google if he really needs to see Buff Jar. Uh, it's all right. I'll, 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 <laughs> I'm going to Google Buff. <laughs> we played round one strategically. Hi, Vincent. Vincent's here too. Right. Okay. Oh. Answers. Answer time. Answers. Oh. So. Oh. Uh, <laughs> do, do we have to? Can we just skip this? <laughs> So y'all got four and just de deal with it right yeah. now. Yeah, we all got four. Oh, right I would wish for four. four and be well, that's why done. I said that. <laughs> okay, oh. so the answer to one is the correct line is revved up like a deuce, another runner in the night. Uh, half a point. We get half a point. We get half <laughs> a point. We, we get half a point. We got part of it. No half points. Oh. Come on. Damn, I thought it was You know rolling. the rules here. I can't. Rules. We, so we get half of another point. question right. We can combine those half points. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nobody's ever suggested that before. Yeah. And there's no, okay. there's no douche there. No douche. I always oh, thought that's, that's, that's too. the missing always... lyric is douche. Well, that's, so, that's so wrapped up. Wrapped up. Uh, uh, yeah. Watch, watch. Click on the YouTube link and watch that video. Okay. Um, and then that was written two. by Springsteen, but performed by Manfred Mann. Uh, yeah, Carl, we've even talked about this, and I felt bad that yep. I couldn't remember what the actual lyrics were. <laughs> okay, number two. The correct is, I guess he's an Xbox, and I'm more Atari. Oh. oh not video games, oh. I guess. Oh. And you put that one in for me. Should have known that one. It's not forget well, you either. I, yeah, you I believe you know my Atari. Oh. How should we have known that one? If none of us even heard of the... The song, the song, the song won a Grammy. The song oh, really is, is "fuck you," not yeah. "forget you." Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what Aaron said. Well, I mean, Aaron didn't say that, but I mean, Aaron said that it was the F word. Not and it won, it won a Grammy too. Oh, good for them. All right, number three, "Blurred Lines" by Robin Thicke. The correct line is "must want to get nasty." Yes. Ken, Wild oh, guess point. does it. Got a point. Uh, <laughs> nothing about the bathroom. <laughs> <huh>? <laughs> 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 Yeah, we the didn't, bathrooms we are nasty. Bathrooms are. We're not nasty enough, team. And, and mushrooms are good. So there you go. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, you nobody likes mushrooms. This, Some people do. There are things Fungi. about this group that I never would have suspected. Mushrooms are good. Mushrooms. Are, well, I would. Yeah. Okay. Number four is cheeseburger in paradise. Yes. yes. You did. Yay. You got cheeseburger. Yay for Paula. Thank we you. We got our only two points. I bet. <laughs> okay i'm wondering if anybody got um number five is that lobo 
No, that's the. No, that's, um, another, that's another one. That's a different one. Um, so wait. What is it, uh... We'll see if Siri was right, Rob. Oh, we didn't pick that one. No, I, I oh. went with the one I put. But oh, okay. if we get it wrong and Siri I, was right, I don't know which one you picked. Okay. So Sweetheart on Parade was E.A. Stewart's horse in Mother Country. Oh, yeah. Neither uh, well, it didn't no. matter. Both oh, wow. Yeah. We yeah. didn't even consider that. KJ. Nope. Yes, that's and, what I said. And a fun <laughs> fact that some of you will appreciate is a tape of this song from the California Bloodlines album was played on the Apollo 11 spacecraft. Wow. Oh, wow. Nice. Right. Cool. And, and actually, I, I didn't copy this part down but if, it if also you believe if you believe in that kind of thing when they yeah. when, when, <laughs> when they made the movie they actually played some of that song in the movie too what they movie heard, what movie nice. movie that they made they out of that. Apollo 11. The fake movie no yeah. they actually didn't make any apollo 11 movies until very recently which which was part of the conspiracy see they didn't even make a movie about it oh, okay. but the thing is the I'm title strong. was bloodlines and then mother country so oh uh, okay so the um, the uh, blah, 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 the the songwriter for Daydream Believer. Did anybody get this? I don't Stuart, know. Stuart of the King. I made a lot of guesses. You're close with Kingston Trio. It was John, John Stewart. Stewart. John Stewart. Yeah. yeah. Who was in uh, Kingston Trio? Go, Kevin. Wait, wait. Neil Diamond wrote Daydream Believer. No, Neil no, Diamond didn't. wrote I'm a Believer. <gasps> I'm so oh. sorry, team. You're fired. When I saw her face, hey, John I'm a Stewart. Hey, John Diamond. Stewart. Hey, John. Not, no, not the TV, John Stewart. John He's, Stewart. Yeah, I only know the, the non songwriter John Stewart. Yeah, no, this Thank was you. the songwriter one. He's wrote a lot of songs. He's, if you had let me sit here for a year, I would never have come up with John no. Stewart. Who, <laughs> who, who knows John Stewart? Never heard no. of him. Hands up, everyone who's seen come the King Trio perform live. Let the big horse run. <laughs> <laughs> Just mm. Carl. Sorry, Carl. All Don't right. brag Although, about yeah. that. Um, they were all three down, still yeah, alive. Don't it was a trio one original member. Yeah, wait, I got to put that in. Hang on. Sorry. Um, do, 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 do. Reading from the book of Tim. Well, sort of. You <laughs> probably yeah. have, yeah. One, two. Right. The <coughs> okay, and so seven. I don't know what I'm talking about. Sounds like. Yeah, need to mute Richard. Richard, seven. mute yourself. Sorry. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> So number seven, and some I heard some people getting this is me and you and a dog named Boo, Boo. Not, not Boo. Oh. and the artist was Lobo. <laughs> oh yeah, Lobo. All right, Kevin. Thank oh, you. Oh, of course, the artist known as Lobo. <laughs> and if you get, and if you get those, you get two points. Sheriff Lobo. Yeah, that's we knew, of course. <laughs> okay, well, so John Stewart, you would probably know this one. Yeah, um, the Gambler. Yeah. Uh, was actually written by a guy named Don Schmitz. I knew that. Oh, yeah, sure you did. <laughs> and before Kenny Rogers recorded it, it was recorded by Bobby Bear, who I've, I've heard of, and Johnny Cash. Yes, I knew I it. Said, I said put Johnny it. Cash for every answer. Told you. <laughs> Not a bad Did we put Johnny Sorry. Cash for that Johnny. one or we put Chris I got Chris one. Uh, we went Bobby. back and forth between D. Martin and, and Glenn Campbell. That's going back a little too far, Kevin. <laughs> who was the third person who sang it? They were still, they were alive when Johnny that song came out. Johnny Cash. Yeah, yeah, they were alive. But Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash, John, Don Schmitz, and Bobby Bear. Okay. Bobby Bear, the father of Max Bear, who was in Beverly Hillbillies. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah. Uh, My daughter's boxer. father was a, a boxer. A boxer, a wrestler. He's a boxer, yeah, and it's spelled no relation to Yogi. Max Bear. Who, pr who produced Max the Bear. movie. About uh, Billy Joel McAllister. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Always coming back to breathe. Billy Joel. No, Billy Joel <laughs> McAllister, not Billy Joel. Stepped off the Tallahassee Bridge. Come on. Yeah, that yeah. was a movie that, of June. Always that was written, that was you. produced by Max Bear. Bobby Bear pushed him. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted her for himself. I'm ready to push. He's smarter than the average bear. <laughs> okay, I can't. I, I heard a lot of people having trouble with this. I hope somebody got it. Um, Roberta Flack was the first one oh. to win the Grammy Award, which yeah. I, I loved her. Never song, would have guessed her. I, I think didn't, we put I Johnny didn't. Cash on everything. <laughs> I, guess that could work. I hope at least then we got one. Okay, so the final one, um, the um, uh, blah, 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 blah. 
the LA Freeway song, which is what it was called, um, was written by Guy Clark. Oh. Who, who uh, wrote, the, he released, released his own version in 1975. And um, uh, let's see here, let me put the answer in here. And the bonus answer um, in his, one of his versions, I imagine he probably didn't done more than one, but one of his versions, he tells a little story in the song like they do sometimes. And he said they had this sweet little grapefruit tree in front of their house in somewhere in Los Angeles. And the landlord was such a jerk that this one day he just came and cut it down for no reason. Really? That yeah. was the answer. Did he, did he do he it while the raising the rent? Yeah, we, <laughs> oh, we all said it. that. That's so weird. I certainly <laughs> wouldn't have put cut down a tree. Well, if you heard the, tree. if you'd heard the song, you would have. Put up a parking lot. <laughs> so <Okay. Yep. laughs> there you go. Jumped so they paved the paradise. Yeah. <laughs> Put up a parking lot. Never, we love you, but we. This is starting to sound more and more like Punch and Judy. Yeah, I was just saying. Oh, I did better on Punch and Judy. No, we did. We did a lot. This was much more, a lot better on this than Punch and Judy. Uh, I don't know about that. I didn't mind seeing these scores. We did it like three points better. <laughs> it was a great category, Deborah. We learned. A I lot. loved it. Thank I you loved so it. much. Yeah. I, did, I learned a lot. These are all, all, all except for me and you and the dog named Boo were all either like fairly highly rated songs or highly rated artists. You know, just because they weren't Beyonce or I wouldn't have known. I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't know anything about Beyonce either. So. Yeah, I missed the Roberta Flackman. We, we, we went with Taylor Swift. Oh. No, we did too. <laughs> So it had it had to be before Taylor Swift. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but it hasn't happened that much either. It hasn't happened no, since. No, I think I think you two. They said you two, and I forget what the other one was has done. Yeah, it's only Taylor Swift a was times. a calculated guess because she wins every year for everything. Right, <laughs> right. That's, <laughs> so. what, that's what we thought too. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, and we said there's no way we're going to get some other random person in the 80 years since it was going to. There wasn't. We would have never thought of Robert. Uh, yeah, we we talked yeah. about Michael Jackson, but the, yeah, yeah, the albums yeah, were too far apart. I wanted the Carpenters, and I'm okay. I score. That's not a bad guess, yeah, too. But I don't think they. But it was on know. another one, not not that one. Something else. Okay, so let's go to the scores. If you're on this call, you're being. Oh wait, let me go to uh, screen share so you guys can see how amazing. You are. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Nobody will accuse me of cheating. Okay. okay, so we're gonna go with if you're on this call, you are being laid off. I think we're consistent with three. You got Saunders at this one, so you should have done better. <laughs> there weren't yeah, any really. more work sorry. Lyrics. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. The Swiss Death Dash App Writers, which is the team I was on and the team that Deborah was on. What did you do to your team, Deborah? I'm sure it was something horrible. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Not too bad. That's because we guessed we guessed uh, Johnny Cash out of the blue, I think. Yeah. Um, all that right. So, psychedelic skeptics and the psychic skeptical fellow. I gave you Vincent at the last minute. He was. He probably wasn't even born when most of these were. <laughs> oh, but Karen was on that team. Karen was on the Bob. team. Thank you. We got seven. seven. Oh, yeah. all right. Yeah. Very impressive. Yeah. Nice. Very impressive. Nice. 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 Nothing to do with it. They cheated. Um, <laughs> Leonard actually got a, lot, a bunch of those. Really? Wow. Okay, uh, Canadian well, Jawas. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Okay, who are the Canadian Jawas that say Poutini? Three. Whoa, you guys were doing so good. Now you just, oh, Caspian didn't know his. <laughs> no, his None name. of us knew those things. Yeah. See you all just talking about the weather or something. Okay. Team to be <laughs> Jewish space laser fox Christmas tree. What? Lot about six now. Six. <laughs> yep. Jewish space laser one fox Christmas tree zero six. I see. Is that what six? Is that what I heard? Yeah, six. Look at these scores, you guys. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm seeing, a, I'm seeing a little yeah, bit. Three of the times time what the bottom theme is. I don't want to. The top and the and the two top ones are being consistent, though. 
Yeah, consistent. <laughs> What's got no, no, five? like the, 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 the team at the top and the very one at the end are both did well in both the categories. Oh, okay. Um, let's take a, uh, let's take a photo. Everybody, get on screen. Let's take a photo so that we can let the sleepy sleepy heads go sleepy sleep. Yeah, come on, pee break. <laughs> sleepy sleep sleep, and everybody else can go pee pee. Peggy, you there? Isabella, are you there? Isabella may have fallen asleep. Okay, let me see. Everybody else is there. Everybody else is studying. Okay, ready? Yeah. One, Peggy's two, turned three. into a dog. Okay, got it. Very good. Hey. Thanks for having me. Good night, guys. Thank Bye. 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 Okay, I got it. Oh my gosh. Great time. You barely made it from from um, Punch and Judy. Mm. Just barely. Somebody saved you. Okay, five minute break. And goodbye to everybody who's leaving. Break. Break. Put my ice pack back in the freezer. Okay. I'm going to mute me and. Uh, You're still being recorded. I must talk, must not talk about my secret plans. <laughs> you, you could pause the recording, Susan. And keep your clothes on. No. <laughs> Deborah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you thinking about over there? <laughs> well, she said they were recording, you know. You guys can actually talk or something. My goodness. Yeah. Oh, hey. Turn the recording off. Oh, am, am I up next? <laughs> my job. That that sound and that uh, exclamation by the Jawas was my email <laughs> notification at work. Perfect. Bye. Time an email say hi out. to Mark, bye, you guys. Mark. Hi, Mark. Bye, Mark. Hi, Mark. Hi, Robin. You're here. Hi, Mark. Can you join I'm us? <laughs> hi, Robin. I had to. Hi, Leonard. Hey Robin, again. Deborah's Hi Deborah. Here. Deborah's showing us her pussy. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what? Wow. <laughs> James is like, what? Oh. It's a live one, not the one that. <laughs> Sometimes was worried about offending. Well, so. I would hope it would be. <laughs> well, Deborah was standing <laughs> up, and the position was odd. You didn't know it would be orange, did you? <laughs> and, and sometimes Bob's petting his cock. Oh <laughs> yes. my goodness! We are being recorded. We're going to be demonetized yeah. or something. Perfect. I don't. Know. I guess I need to make my ads even more inappropriate next time. <laughs> I'll get more money by just from Deborah to have that removed. Just no copyright <laughs> violations. Oh yeah, gosh. forget you, and forget you too. All right. Five minutes, we're done. I'm back. It's I don't care if it was five minutes. It's got to be close to five minutes. Okay, so I was going to mention that uh, Monterey County Skeptics has got Skeptic Camp coming up in January the eighth. I still am looking for people to be speakers for that. <coughs> Kyle's going to do a talk, and I think uh, Rob's going to do a talk. Twenty minutes. Yeah. And I will put a link right here into the chat. It's always fun. It's all on Zoom. Oops, wrong. These buttons I should oh here comes faith um chat that's what I was trying to do find chat here's our come and speak that's Does our that mean that Avon is calling the ding dong ding dong Avon my mom's so late on dong, the witch is dead so that's going on Kyle what do you got coming up on data skeptic well, this week, our latest episode is about bike share demand forecasting. So as I alluded to earlier on, when you have these regional bike systems, all those are surprisingly well tracked and they make it public open data. Anyone who knows how to do a little bit of basic programming can find out the real time availability of these bikes in cities like New York City. 
Oh. So that's become a really cool data set for people to try and forecast what will be the demand and how does that change on rainy days and holidays and things like that. Sundays and oh, so what what other data could you get from that? Don't you think there'd be all sorts of other kinds of things, applications that could be used for, you know, after the fact, I mean, after they know how many have been used? Potentially, I mean, the sky's the limit on how creative you want to be. Uh, the main one that people discuss is for rebalancing that system. You never want to have a dock that's empty and a person can't use a bike. So you have to kind of predict where do you need to move them around from. Yeah. But yeah, you could do some sort of exercise study or who knows what. There, it's a nice available data set anybody could pick at. So I talked to one researcher who was mainly for, uh, focused on the forecasting of availability. Yeah. And we talk a little bit about how he does that this week on Data Skeptic. You, you know, uh, thank you. Thank you, Kyle. I, I'm thinking like on Super Bowl, how many people use bikes, how many don't, you know, looking at just interesting question. Things, yeah. Things that are happening in the world that may or may not change if, um, I don't know, it seems like there's a lot of like uh, natural, natural experiments. Yeah. In Nashville, they have a lot of uh, scooters instead of bikes. They have a lot of scooters, the electric scooters you can rent. Mm -hmm. And people get frustrated and throw them in the river. They found a whole bunch of them in the river. What? So so it's just crazy. Like, they rent them just, and then they throw them in the river. Uh, yeah, the same hap hap happened here with bikes in Sydney, these right. rental bikes. People just... Through, I mean, it's it's not a good model to work in Sydney because the law here requires you to wear a helmet if you ride a, a bicycle. And so all these bikes are everywhere and no one can ride them because they don't carry helmets with them and the helmets with them get stolen. <laughs> oh, yeah. Faith, Faith, where are you at? I'm in the hospital. I had surgery this morning. Oh, you're in that's, surgery. That's dedication. Yeah. Freshly yeah. out of surgery. And she's Freshly here on trivia. How are you? Yeah. How am I? I'm much better. The anesthesia is gone, but there's a lot of gas pain in my chest because they blew up my abdomen. So, oh yeah oh that's it's awful. better and you're here that's yeah really sweet <laughs> i've got a i've got a drink of one fluid ounce every 15 minutes mm -hmm. so, yeah they have you walked all of, the time i had, I had yeah um <laughs> i guess i can tell you what surgery i had i had bariatric surgery this morning so oh, they wow moved, they removed 80% of my stomach and rerouted my small intestine. So, oh, my oh. My wow. So I have a baby digestive system and I'm really happy. So, well, and right. I got to oh, my to goodness, thing. The only song I could think of after they gave me <coughs> was When the Levee Breaks by Led Zeppelin from last year. They were knocking you out, and I selected that song. But when I got into the um, operating room, they didn't have that. So, I got to pick a tool song. Oh, that's hilarious. It was wonderful. Yeah. Oh, well, my goodness. Here's, so here's to a rapid and complete healing. Yes, except for, yeah, except, yeah. except for the changes that they made. Those, those could stay. Really apple, apple juice tastes wonderful. Water is okay. Um, and we're going to try a protein shake here pretty soon. So. You had to fast beforehand, right? Yeah, I was on an all-liquid diet yesterday. Yeah. And yeah. that's why I was on an 800-calorie diet, because I had to shrink my liver and all Ooh. that fun stuff but that was actually easy <laughs> do you get to go home uh probably saturday all right and then mm -hmm. and the hospital's all like not packed and everything and everything's it's not we haven't had any covid cases that i think omicron hasn't got here yet and our hospitals are pretty okay so mm -hmm. i i got to use a ventilator this, this morning oh well, where are you i am in durham so north carolina yeah mm -hmm. okay. They had surgeon wow. in the program here at Duke did my surgery this morning. So, oh. yeah. Wow. Yay for <laughs> wow, Faith, that's so cool. It's so cool that you showed up. <laughs> that's very, that's very that's, cool. uh, we that, yeah. scratch juice. Yeah, so we, we had a but whole we, bunch of songs a few minutes ago, but they're over. Talk about uh, dedication. That's yeah, that's cool. Yeah. You, can put, you can put me Let's in a room. for science. I put you in a room with uh, <laughs> without Romero, so it'll be interesting to have you guys <laughs> He came to visit me earlier, and then I kicked him out. So oh. he, he he's at home. Room. I can see where he's at. He's at the my mom is, hotel. Is, my mom is here with me. Do you want to say hi, mom? Oh, really? Your mom's there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi, Hello. mom. Hi, mom. Hello. She probably would have been really good at the last category we did too. 
yeah. songs maybe. from the 70s? Maybe, maybe. I still have like brain fog. Well, she, yeah. put her on. <laughs> <laughs> Changes <laughs> between <laughs> Faith and mom. <laughs> you can play. Questions, yeah. She, yeah, you can ask her. That's fine. And the team that you're on has six points. So, uh, nice. What the, the hell? Top, are, you like, are we getting it? Yeah, what's going on? If you're, if you're on this call, you're being laid off. And I'm giving oh. Robin to the team that has five points, which is the Swiss <laughs> Death Dash app writers. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Okay. So three is it's pretty gonna, bad, Rob. But it's really bad. We got like heavy scores. Now Kevin's up, so you know it's about Bill, Bill and Joel. Okay. Susan, no, I had, no, I had no, an announcement, no. Susan. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Two days is New York City Skeptic Camp. So last year, GSOW took it over and was like most of the presenters. This year, it's just me. But I will give you the link in case you want to tune in. There is there is so far 10 speakers. There's still an open spot. I guess they're not going to get anybody at this point, but they're, they're very short 25-minute sessions. I'm going to be talking about critical thinking, and uh, there's a whole range of ideas. You might want to look at that link. It gives the current uh, plan of who's talking and what the subjects are. I think I gave a talk last year, didn't I? Yes. Okay, so I probably shouldn't try. Um, the other thing, I oh, we forgot something else. Richard Saunders, Richard. what's going on in the Richard Saunders world? The Richard Saunders, it's, it's quite busy at the moment. Uh, I've had feeling lots of interviews because we've released the Great Australian Psychic Prediction yeah. Project results. Yeah. So, uh, Skeptical Inquirer are doing something on it. Uh, radio stations all around the country are, are doing something on it. Anyway, but coming up on, oh, why do I always do this? Sorry, I'm going to get rid of <laughs> I'm going to get rid of my background. I know what you uh, sorry about that. Sorry. I'm in, I'm in Susan's office so often I keep forgetting where I am. <laughs> there we are. Coming up on the skeptic zone. <laughs> skeptic zone. <laughs> Cute. There we go. This week, it's episode number 688 for the 12th of December although it'll be a day earlier in the States, it always is. I talked to Michael Marshall from uh, England about the uh, Occam Awards. They just presented for the uh, their uh, Skeptical Awards over there in, in the UK. I also chat to Tim Mendham about what's in the next issue of the Skeptic magazine. And Trove this week looks at some bizarre goings on in seances. That's all on the Skeptic Zone at skepticzone.tv. Very good. Cool. I'm looking forward to both of these podcasts that I enjoy <clears throat> so much. Um, the other thing I was going to mention, the Commonwealth Club is going to have me give a talk, which is um, a big deal, kind of, for, um, it's, it's outside of our choir, which is why it's a bigger deal, and they have a huge audience, and I'll be talking about Operation Onion Ring in uh, January. And, is that in person no, or over there. Zoom? Oh, over Zoom, yeah. Over Zoom. Well, so Susan, that's coming up. Mm -hmm. That's going to be the Commonwealth Club? That's a fancy place. Right on. Is that the yeah, one in Oakland? No, no, it's San no that's San downtown. Oh, San Francisco one, sorry. Downtown, that. yeah. That's really cool, Susan. Oh, thank you. I went that, to a talk that's in- a, That's uh, a huge venue. Great. I think there was one in- a Prestigious venue. San Jose area one time. It that's was, where we um, went. Didn't we go, Deborah? No, you didn't go with me. I went by myself and I saw, uh, what the heck is that physicist guy's name? Uh, Carol. Sean Carroll. Sean Carroll. Yeah, I've yeah. been to one in San Jose also. So, so it looks interesting. I, I'm, I went and I did a talk for Romero and and Jeff's not Jeff that's here, the other Jeff the um, group. And I'm gonna and so I use them as the test. So Romero, get that video so I can watch it again so I can uh -huh. work because I gotta cut. I'll, cut. I'll let Jeff know. <laughs> okay, I gotta cut some stuff and and so the talk that I gave you guys is kind of what I'm gonna give to theirs, but I want to review what I did so I can know where I can cut and where I messed up and what whatever so not a um, huge amount of stuff going oh I'm working on a project with uh, um, Bertha Vasquez who runs the ties program and I will be working in that in the next few weeks and that's going to be skeptics in the classroom oh good. bye Isabella bye Isabella uh, good luck with the kitty <laughs> Um, ah. skeptics in the classroom where we're um bringing in people to from the skeptic community to talk in classrooms of students about skeptical topics and leonard's going to do i think the first one we're going to do in january which is going to be on moon hoaxes and i'm hoping that i will find many more schools um aaron has one for us no 
Aaron doesn't have it. Why did he just draw a blank? I just drew a blank. Talking, talking about Brandy? Yeah, Brandy in Vegas. Okay, she has, she, <laughs> gosh, I just went blank. How weird that is. Oh my Rain gosh. Fog. No, it wasn't, a, it wasn't that. It was, that was a pause for a few, wow. Brandy has a school probably in Vegas and uh, we have another one in, in Florida that Bertha's got. And so anyway, that's going to be something I'm going to be talking a lot about in the next few weeks. So anyway, going back to now that I've recorded my total blank there. Okay. Anyway, you guys are all kind to me. Kevin is up next, but Kevin isn't there. Yes, I am. Well, oh, oh, we're doing things in total dark. Oh, look, Isabella. Look, look. You Isabella. ready? Oh, I'm afraid. I think Isabella left. Pez. 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 Pez is the category. Oh, Lord. That's a good one. We haven't done Pez. I went to the Pez Museum in Orange, Connecticut, and I learned a lot. And For, the, for trivia? A... You did it for trivia? No, I did it because me and my wife wanted to go see it. And we learned a lot, and I decided to write a category about it. Okay, that's good. What is the origin of the word Pez? That's question one. Question two. Muting everybody. What was the original shape of Pez? Round, square, triangle, or rectangle? You're Kevin, you have to unmute yourself. Oh, sorry about that. Number two. Number two, what was the original shape of Pez? Round, square, triangle, or rectangle? Question three. Still unmuted. There we go. You, you. Now, is it working? Okay. Yeah. Unmuted. Unmuted. Okay. Yeah. The original shape. I think you heard that one. Yeah. yeah. Okay, number three, the Halloween witch became the first traditional character head in 1957. The following year, the first licensed cartoon character was introduced. Name that character. Wow, from 57? That 57 was the, was a witch the first time it was a head. Well, I mean, that was, Pez has been around that long. That's amazing. It's been around a lot yeah. longer. What Pez dispenser was featured in an episode of Seinfeld? I tested these at my work and five people guessed wrong on that one. Ooh, out of how many? Out of five. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all five got it wrong. They all picked different ones and they were all wrong. Um, how many Pez fit in a dispenser? Plus or minus one to get the point. Hamilton, how many peasants fit in a dispenser? <laughs> okay. Is a multiple choice. Who is not on the top of a Pez dispenser? And there's six names oh, there. Oh, gee. I've never been on a Pez dispenser. I don't know. No, nope, you got <laughs> Yep. <coughs> if your name was written in there, then you would get a point. But it's not. Darn. There was once, all these flavors were once Pez except one. Name the one that was not a Pez flavor. I have another similar to number six. Number eight is another character question, multiple choice. Which character has never graced the top of a Pez dispenser? And I list a few of them there. Which of these characters? Right? Yep. Yep. One, yep. Number nine, Pez was invented oh my God. <laughs> by this guy as an alternative to smoking. It was actually like a mint. What country? What country was it invented? Hey, in? hey, hey, you two get along. I have to throw a frog at Hamilton Malone. Hey, leave her alone. And then Keep number frog, 10, especially for that. Number 10 is a movie scene where a person 
utters the phrase, if I could only have one food to eat for the rest of my life, that's easy. Pez, blank flavored Pez. No question about it. Fill in the blank. And I have a bonus. And the bonus is going to use mono rules <gasps> just for the bonus. There are slightly over 10 current flavors of Pez. Name one that nobody else will name. Your team can come up with one name that nobody else can name to get a point. Oh my God. <laughs> and that's it. That's the Pez test. Oh, gee. Go to your rooms. Okay, you're going to send I this hope James doing it. Oh, oh, I guess I can. Oh, do I guess yeah. he is. Okay, I got to put Faith and Robin in the rooms. What happens if you name a name that doesn't exist? Then you screw You don't get it because it has to be a current flavor. It has to be a current one, and no one else can name it for you to get the point. Okay, so that's the Faith, bonus one. Faith and her mom are going to go into room three, and Robin is going into room two. Good luck, you guys. The scores are really bad. So I'm going to go into room three. Yeah. Okay, who's Not there? For oh, Lord. Faith, how's your pest collection? Uh, I don't have one. Does your mom have one? Do you have one? No, but she gave me a flavor to list for number 11. Okay, there you go. We got something then. Okay, where, where do you guys want to start? Maybe number one. All right, what's the answer? The origin. I don't know. I think it might be an acronym, but I don't know. What the heck could Z be? Could it be English? Um, it I may be related to the um, the country of origin. So if we we might want to consider those together. What country might that be? Um, well, that guy's name might be a clue. What's the guy's name? I'm looking for my goddamn chat. Oh, here we go. His name is Edward E D U A R D Haas H A A S the third. Oh, was invented. Edward. That's question nine. It was invented by Edward Haas as an alternative. In German what country. What is Haas? H A A S? It's probably Scandinavian or German, uh, but Edward spelled weird. Yeah. E D U A R D. Edward. 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 Haas. Could that be Austrian? And where would you want to quit smoking? I mean, Switzerland, maybe? Definitely not the French. Because the Swiss <laughs> a lot of candy, too. Um, Swiss sounds about right. Okay, so we've got the answer for nine. Richard's excited about something. You can try Switzerland for nine. Hey. You can revisit. Sorry about nine. that. <clears throat> I just had work call. So, oh, yeah. And I, that's awesome. good, good news for me because the entertainment industry has been very quiet and suddenly I've got four days work in a row, which is like, bing, that's bing, great. Bing. Wow. And, and, at double weekend rates. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Oh, ka-ching, ka-ching. Yep. That's always good. Very good. But what do you know about Pez? Yeah. Nothing. That's, <laughs> that's the important I, thing. Yeah. I, look, I don't know what question you're up, what question you're up to. We're almost done with one. <laughs> almost done. <laughs> Because I tell you why, because when they started, he talked about Seinfeld. I think uh -huh. Superman, Superman. Because oh, Jerry, good, good, good. Good one, sure. why? Um, okay. Jerry's, uh, you know, wrapped up in, in Superman. Okay, okay good. Seinfeld Superman episode. would be the answer to is that four? Yeah. So, okay, we, were, so we were talking, Richard, about the country of origin possibly being Switzerland, which might help us with number one, which is the origin of the word PEZ, which looks like an acronym. Um, Pestle. It's as good a guess as any because I've got no clue where PEZ, Pe -Pez. comes from. Pestle. I haven't seen it for years. I mean, easy, it's around. Easy pestle, easy. Right. Anti smoking. What do we think the original shape might have been? I think they're rectangles now, right? Yeah, they are now. Seems like round would be the easiest thing to manufacture. James, can't. what? I said that's all I have ever known them as, and that's been a long time. Yeah, I. This feels like a trick question. I'm voting for rectangle. 
I I'm down so. with that. Yeah. I, I, I would have think... thought circle. It seems like that'd be the, the default. But I don't think they've changed. Okay. To they be honest, they we... haven't changed in my memory. And, and I got a lot of years. We're yeah. all, we're, we're my mom is in consensus. What'd your mom say? She's in consensus with you old people. Okay. It was us old thing. people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. How old is your mother over there? Thank mom, you. get up and slap her. Yeah, She'll be 62. Old. You'll be 62 in February. Oh, okay. Oh, that's my that age. All? It's not all. Yeah. yeah. That's she all. Grown that she is. Life begins at 60. Heavens above. Yeah. Okay. The Halloween <laughs> witch became the traditional <laughs> character head dispenser of 57. The, the, year for the first licensed cartoon character was introduced. Name the what was it? The cartoon character? Uh, Mickey Mouse. Ma- no, I was going to say Mickey Mouse. Yeah, Bugs that was my guess too. Bugs Bunny came to my mind before Mickey. Gonzalez. Mm-hmm. Um, oh. I think Mickey would have been pricier for them to license. Good point. Yeah. I have, I have a Speedy Gonzalez. Ooh. Oh. Oh. You have one. You're the expert, Jane. You can pay, she could pay for her house. In mint house. condition? In the box? It, I believe it's still in the package. <gasps> what What oh. year did you get it, Jane? I don't remember. Every Were time you a I child? Or it's there. <laughs> so, uh, okay. I mean, yeah. Do you want to put Bugs Bunny or Speedy Gonzalez? I think there? I've had a Bugs Bunny. Okay. Bugs Bunny. I, I agree about the Mickey Mouse being a licensing issue. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Okay, but, so um, what... Okay, we have to find filled. How many are in a dispenser? I think it's 12. 12? I was going to guess 15. They're little. They're little. But they're thick. Yeah, I was going to risk like somewhere between. I'm a dry. Eight. Ten. Or ten. At least ten. I think there would be at least ten, but possibly no more than 15. Yeah. But that doesn't help us on a plus or minus one. (laughs) No. Shall we say 11? That gives us 10 or 12. I like that. Okay. okay. Hmm? Who has not been on top to Pez? Hmm. I'm drawing uh, the Pez's and I, I think about 10, 11. Yeah, 11 should be fine. Um, I think so Einstein. Einstein. Oh, well, I'm sure he's been on there. But Probably Susan. not Daniel Boone. I'm Susan. thinking maybe the licensed image that would be expensive would be hard to get, like Marilyn Monroe. Oh, yeah, Kitty. What is she? They license her. Is she licensed? I think so. Okay. She's off to my Vegemite. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm thinking it's creature. I'm thinking it is uh Daniel Boone. Because why would Daniel Boone be on a Pez dispenser? Look, yeah. everybody can be on one. I'm not on one. Are you on one? No. <laughs> Um, I'm sure Elvis was Uncle Sam for sure. Einstein, of course. Um, Uncle, okay. Maybe it's Uncle Sam. No, I think it's Daniel Boone. Any? Do we have any votes for Einstein? Do we That's have any my votes? vote? But I don't feel strong oh, yeah? about it at all. Einstein has one. Hold on, are we voting? What, what Einstein? Which one and has not been on? Bet- a- Betsy Ross. Any votes for Betsy? Any votes for Daniel Boone? We had one, two. Daniel's got two. Any votes for Elvis? Any votes for Marilyn? Any votes for Uncle Sam? So we have three out of six. Jane of and Peggy did not vote. I didn't vote. Um, I can't decide. I think it's. Jane's got to break the tie. <laughs> I think it's Marilyn. I'm I'm giving myself a vote for Marilyn. Jane, what did you say? Einstein. 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 Well, that gives Einstein. you two Einstein. That gives Einstein two, and Richard says Einstein. Einstein wins. Oh, okay. be Daniel Boone. Which has never been a Pez flavor. Cornville? Coffee. Chlorophyll? What's a chlorophyll? Yeah, I'm more bothered by chlorophyll. I'm you not, never know. People did weird stuff in, in the day, you know? Yeah. You, you know, the certs, certs are like chlorophyll flavor. <laughs> that's the same flavor, basically. You can it, get it somehow. It says chlorophyll flowers, right? Is that? I don't I say believe no, those are separate. separate. Yeah. 
How is there flavor flowers? <laughs> flowers. Yeah, that's weird, right? Flowers, flowers. I would like vote for that grass. one. You think flowers? Yeah. Flower. Yeah. Anybody? Flowers going once, twice, gun. Okay, flowers, flowers. it is. <clears throat> All right. about Who, mr bean for this next one yeah oh, i'm sure he's had a he's had a pez dispenser are you kidding he was so popular mr bean yeah but they don't make a lot of real people they mostly do characters well mr bean's a character he's also a cartoon uh, character. how about peppermint patty for sure he's a character. i meant a human being yeah <laughs> I think that it's the only thing on that list that looks really weird would be peppermint patty. You think so? Okay. But I don't know because there could be a flavor called peppermint and it puts peppermint <coughs> patty on it. Well, and that brings up again the whole licensing with yeah. Charles Schultz and is there a Snoopy? Is there a oh, oh yeah, there's Snoopy. definitely a Snoopy. Yeah, I'm I don't think sure. it's peppermint patty because that just well, no, I don't know. You guys As... Never <laughs> it is as little as possible. Um, on that one, I, I gotta say I still like Mr. Bean, but Me I'm too. going with the group. We got two groats, two for Mr. Bean. Orphan Annie, anybody? Peppermint Patty, anybody? Susan's with Peppermint Patty. Anybody else with Peppermint? No. Okay. Peppermint Patty has one, and Underdog. Underdog seems like a lot. Uh, right? I think under underdog, sure. There had to be an underdog. Yeah. Wiley Coyote. Um, maybe not because of the unusual shape of the face. Mm. No, no. Well, did Jane know. say she had a? What did you have Jane? <coughs> Speedy, Speedy Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Speedy Gonzalez. Yeah. A racist memory from her past. <laughs> Depends who you talk to. Yeah. Um. Well, my maiden name is Gonzalez, so it was. Oh, <laughs> got, it, got it. Faith, what do you say over there? Peppermint She's... Patty. Oh, oh, we got another vote for Peppermint Patty. So we got two for Bean and two for Patty. Who didn't uh, vote? Richard, did you have a vote? vote? <sighs> Mr. Bean. Okay. All right, Mr. Bean, it is. We got three. Okay. Okay, we figured out nine, we think. We Yeah, well, we have a get. We're saying Switzerland, right? Yeah. Do, who knows? It's probably Chicago or something. <laughs> <laughs> the country is Chicago. It's a uh, different country than where I Okay, live. 1986 movie. I didn't see this movie, but I am almost positive I have heard this line. Yeah, it's on an album, too. I'm trying to remember it what's the question it's a Maybe. quote from um 1986 stephen king a movie based on stephen king's novella the body if i could only have one food to eat for the rest of my life that's easy pez blank pez flavor no <laughs> question about it and it's the blank what flavor kyle's got a good voice for this we'll have him read the questions him and him and saunders Mm -hmm. I don't think I've I have no memory of ever even eating Pez Really? Oh, I, I've eaten lots of Pez But it's always oh, yeah. been the same flavor I didn't know there was more than one flavor Yeah, yeah there's definitely flavors I It's like vague, you know Cherry? <laughs> yeah, there's for sure a cherry Peppermint? Mm, Strawberry? Vanilla? Strawberry Strawberry Grape? Yeah, there's a grape for sure Grape's the oh, easy flavor grape. What faith? Raspberry. Raspberry favorite pez. Yeah. Okay, so what do you think would be the cherry? Bubble is everybody is there a bubble grape? Gum? Bubble gum. Grape or cherry? Cherry sounds right to me. All right. That's number ten. Cherry. Okay, now we got to come faith, up. Faith, do you know that movie? Is Raspberry Ring a Bell? No, that's just my guess. Okay, what does your mom say on number ten? I have the bonus. Oh, look at this. She's got her skin. <laughs> there, oh, there. no way. That's great. What? <laughs> oh, there he is. See how many are inside. No. He's adorable. That's fun. What did they say? 
My mom doesn't know. No, the flavor, she said she had a flavor for us. That was for number the bonus. Yeah, what is it? Pineapple. <gasps> I like that I answer. Ooh. Ooh. I like that yeah. too. Let's I just cheated. I just cheated. Huh? You what? I was looking, it said US patent, and it has some other information. Don't on. say anything. Okay. <laughs> okay. Did you guys get 10 answers yet? I think we do we get them, Peggy? Yeah, Steve, well, Jeff? do you we have skip. 10 answers? So do we get ready to wrap it up? Or we I think time? we have 11 answers. Oh, we don't have the origin of the word. We don't have number one. I would say we have as many answers as there are pez in a container. How do you feel about that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Susan. Susan. Oh, look, the kitties in the box. <laughs> I have a kitty over here. Okay. Does anyone so, want to take a stab at one, the origin of the word Pez? Ah, uh, Pez. Um, Easy. <clears throat> Personal. What if it means foot? Oh, like if it's it could, in Mexico? Goes anything. Make yeah. up something. Yeah. Or it could be. Pedestrian, like petty exercise, personal, so, personal, edible, personable, edible, personal. The private, Z that gets you. private, private eating zone. Was that like the scouting zone? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I think we have to come back. Oh, with I think Pez is right. just Pez. <clears throat> All right, Pez is has just no Pez. meaning, <clears throat> but what, but there's still some origin. Uh -huh. I have foot down. Can we? Can we sit with foot? Can we? Is foot okay? That's fine. Foot. It's fine. It I mean, it's better than nothing. We don't get punished for a shitty answer. Get that right. You're not playing oh. for money. Good job, y'all. Tonight, job, that is team. really good. Oh, you're not in the secret fun. gambling channel, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Vegas odds on this game. Yeah. Yeah, that was fun. Thanks, guys. Measure those and or ask me. Uh oh. Oh boy. We all back? I'm interested to know what people think about the word Pez for number one. Oh, Does God. anybody want to tell me their answer? We're interested to know what people said think. it has no answer. No. Oh no, there is an answer. Well, we said foot. No, it's not fun. <laughs> Fine. Foreign language for Punch and Judy. <laughs> it's, it's from, anybody have an answer? It's like it's from the, it's from the, the German for peppermint. peppermint. It's from the that German is for peppermint. That is correct. Oh, oh, man. Man. Uh, That's not fair. Peppermints. He's German. Look at his first name. He's got a K instead of a C. Yeah. What you put the in there? All the Germans. Oh, those are all peasants. That's so not fair. These are giant Pez dispensers that dispense that dispense pen, Pez packets. Oh, oh wow. wow. Well, Jane has a Speedy Gonzalez one right there. Oh, look, Brandy's got them too. Brandy oh. is on it. Look at you yeah. guys. Hello, the, Kitty. And Aaron has a bunch. These are just the ones I have within reach. Oh, oh my, my God. Lord. Jane, Jane has got Speedy Star Gonzalez. Wars. Yeah. Oh, look at Aaron. I, I own no Pez dispensers. Same. Jeez. I made moon, that's a Pez dispenser. Jay, Aaron's I, 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 mean, uh, I, I have, have boxes in the garage. I got, oh, I got one down. too. The original shape of Pez, <laughs> the original shape of Pez was round. Oh, no. It was in a row. Uh, sorry, Susan. Pez drops. Sorry. That was my guess. Like, like, my one Wednesday. answer that I would know. <laughs> the and cartoon character, the first cartoon character was Popeye. Oh, oh no! Oh, no! Oh, no. Worse. Worse. What did our team stay with? Was it? We went with Bugs what? Bunny, but we were going to go with we put Mickey Mouse. We put oh, Casper. We put Casper, thinking the witch came out at Halloween, and a year later, be... the Seinfeld episode. You should know. We should. Seinfeld fans. <laughs> Tweety Bird. What? Oh. No. Yep. Why did you know that? Because if you like Seinfeld, you'd know. Well, what if you don't like Seinfeld or you haven't watched it since it was on? Ever. Then you wouldn't know. Then you wouldn't know. <laughs> there are 12. There are 12 in there. So the answer. Okay, well, we got that. Sorry, James. Plus or oh. minus. 
11, sorry, 12, team. or 13 will give you the right How answer. How did you guys oh, not God, get it? You've got a Pez all over the place. I don't use the candy. <laughs> Number six is Albert Einstein. Oh. Yes. Thank you, team, for did not we, going Did we put that at the end, back? Yes, we did. I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> Number seven is Peanut. Oh, gross. Oh, Peanut. Oh, because of like, the peanut flour? allergy thing, too. What does chlorophyll they, taste like? They, sorry, they, I don't know, but that in the 60s, all thing, those though. other ones were done in the 60s. It tastes like a certs. What do flowers had, taste like? I don't know, but it was in the 60s. Yeah. That's... Did anybody get number eight right? Let me hear your answers. Oh, no. Mr. Bean. Answer. Well, no, if we got it right. <laughs> well, tell me your answer. Tell us. Mr. Bean. No, Switzerland. not Mr. Bean. Not Mr. Bean. I said peppermint patty. Not peppermint patty. Oh, that's the one we're on. Marilyn Monroe. Perfect. No, I mean, no, that was no, 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 no. Baby Crockett. Believe it or not, it's Underdog. Oh. oh underdog. Wow. I was surprised at that one, too. That doesn't make sense. It does? And then the country of origin. Recount. The country of origin is Austria. Oh, oh yeah. I said it's Austria. Alan. We had it. <laughs> but we so, didn't go with that. We, we named Alan. a bunch of, we named Thank a bunch you, of countries instead of probably Austria, then. Yeah. That down. So close. Just a border away. Yeah. Right. And then number 10. I can play the video if you want to see it. Oh, please don't. No. <laughs> yeah, okay. No. <laughs> the answer is cherry. Yay! 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 Oh, we, got it. we have a point. We got a I point. We got the same points as we got on Deborah's. <laughs> Now for the mono rules bonus question. Let's hear from team one. What did you say? Sour apple. I think. Okay, let me get the flavors so I can make sure that it's on the list. Um, okay, did anybody else say that? No. Is that an actual flavor? Well, it's sour green apple. That's close enough, I think. Yeah, that's good. That's yeah. a current oh, flavor? Wow. Yes, sour green apple is a I just listed. I just listed the flavors. Good job. The current. Good job there. Do we have so, to have the word sour in front? Yeah, she said sour apple. That's oh, close no, enough. That's we said answer. pineapple. Pineapple. No, that's different. well. Sour. I gave yeah, the sour yeah. green apple. Sour pineapple. That's okay. That's close no, enough. no, no. Green apple is a type of apple. Pineapple is a different fruit. There's one word difference in both cases. <laughs> That's why I said, yeah. I, I don't know anyway. if I said my yeah, team's but there's one thing word properly. difference between any one word answer and a different one word answer. <sighs> okay, next apple. team. Fine. Pineapple, of course, is fine. It's sour. Our, is our, is our answer is not on the list, so we won't even. Well, you have. We have to say. You guys have to say what your answers are, so that we know if so other somebody picked them. It, it's mango, but it's not on the list, so we won't. Oh yeah, you don't get, get it. it anyway. <laughs> Did anybody else put pineapple? Okay, so our team gets a point. Good. So Wilma's team put apple. Sour apple. Okay. Sour, yeah. Anybody else put sour apple? Anybody else have a contender? Okay. So Wilma's team gets a point. What'd you say, James? Anybody else have a contender? Ours isn't on the list either. Cherry. Yeah, we, we went the easy route and said cherry, thinking no one else would pick it. Oh. Anybody else pick cherry? Apparently not. We did okay. it right. Only Vern. Vern picked cherry. Yeah, oh, Vern did. Vern picked cherry. Who's Vern? Vern in the movie. Yeah. Vern from Stand but, but By Me. No other team picked cherry, so we get That's that. correct. Yes. You get a point. Yay, we need that point. Okay, so that's three <laughs> points, right? Okay, the other two didn't get even. One better than Deborah's, right? Thank you, Faith's mom. <laughs> and interesting enough, peach is a flavor in the world, the rest of the world, but not in the United States. Oh. I don't know why. <laughs> they have LaCroix peach. You don't have any yeah, not, Chinese not, or Japanese not flavors there. LaCroix. Not Pez Peach. No, no Pez Peach. Probably something to do with World War II. You don't have any Japanese let's see flavors. If it still works. Okay, so let's go over to our scores, people. <laughs> Oops, I hit the wrong one. A little worse for where the batteries are run down. I hear it. And if you look, it, it's hard to tell. It still has a piece of tape over it to keep it from being super loud because my kids would open this thing up constantly. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, here, here we is go. the source. Here's the source of my answers in the in the answers. Ah. Okay. Mm. 
That was a very sad <laughs> Star Wars. Uh, the Pezzapedia. <laughs> the museum was quite interesting. Kind of small, but lots and lots of displays. Where and they that? give you a bingo card. It's in Orange, Connecticut, mm -hmm. but there's more than one, I think. And they let you do, they, they walk around with a bingo card and you fill in when you find the wood, different ones on your card and then they give you a free Pez if you complete it. Oh, it's oh it's boy, a free a Pez. Free, a, free <laughs> pe a, a free <laughs> pack of Pez or individual Pez? A, a dispenser with candy in it. One piece okay. of Pez. <laughs> one piece for you. What was the name? What was the P-E-Z mean? What did the P-E-Z mean? It's uh, the word uh, peppermint in German. Peppermints or something. And they take Pe the P. Peppermint. The, peppermint. Yeah, the first, middle, and last letter of the word peppermint in German. Carl knew it. And it, it came know. around in 1920. When it first happened. Oh, that wow. wasn't a question, but you were saying how old it was. Stop smoking. It didn't come to the United States till the 50s, but it was around the world in 1927. Okay, so let's go with our scores. So the do we Swiss, have to? Yeah, the yeah. Swiss Death Dash app writers. What did you get? We're gonna stay consistent with two. Oh wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you're up to seven. You're in, you're not in last place. Okay. Well, this yeah. is golf, right? yeah. Not yet. <laughs> if you were on this call, you're being laid off, which was the team that Kevin had. I think we got a four. Oh, good. Kevin, we're in, we we're in the double digits now. Yay. Well done. Wow, I'm shocked. Um, Canadian Jawas say poutine. Or. Wow. Okay. Psychedelic psychics and the uh, skeptics and the psychic skeptical fellow. Eight. Whoa. Oh, oh my God. God. Pez wow. Wow. Well, oh, that's fine, Daddy Da. Daddy Da Da. Oh, ugly. Job team. And uh, the team that's in the lead, well, was five. Jewish five Jewish space lasers gets five. Tied it up. They're tied. Oh. They are tied. Tied it up. Tied it up. <laughs> Not for count. long. Stop the count. All right, Kevin. Good category. We've never had Pez. That's I a need a one minute break to say goodnight to my wife. Well, go ahead. Talk amongst yourselves. Was, Great time. I have a question. Was I the only person who had never heard of Pez? Never heard of it. Yes. What? Never heard you of it. Didn't know what it was. Wow. It? Were you I didn't it? even know what it was. It's me wow. as a Pez dispenser. We put it in an article. Take a picture of it. You're a Pez dispenser. Yep. And I'm gonna find the Mr. Bean Pez dispenser. Okay, Janine. That's kind of surprising to me. I so think Jane, Jane, did you eat all your Pez's out of that? Or is how it, it operates? Show Janine how it operates. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, Jane, show her. There, there aren't any in here. Okay, it's but show her how it works. It's what got a called? spring. It's got a spring on it, and you put your candies in it, and then when you lift the lid, Aaron, then one candy comes yeah. out at a time. You lift up a. Erin showed. Like, yeah, Erin yeah. showed hers. I, I I ripped back Yoda's head to show her how the head works. Oh, yeah. You notice none of your guys' flute, your pezes has candy. In. Never seen it before. They they made fun of it on a South Park episode with um a JFK Pez dispenser. Oh. And they actually it actually exists. They did all the presidents up to uh they don't have Trump, they don't have Trump or Biden yet, but they're up to uh oh, Obama. Wonder, they don't. does it go back into the left? <laughs> <laughs> the flavor would be for Trump. Oh, what flavor would a, Trump be? Better make a something disgusting. Sour grapes. Trump, yeah. Trump is sour grape. Musk. Sour grape. Yeah, there Musk. You go. Trump. There you go. Musk. They already have orange flavor. Musk. Never. Oh, Musk. 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 Yeah, yeah, Musk. Musk. God awful mm. Musk stuff. Or do you popcorn or? Vomit like a the jelly orange. belly. Orange. How about vomited popcorn? Oh. Yeah, that's that's the jelly bellies. And you said I'm we're bad about talking about cat dissections. All right, all right, we're ready orange. for the next round. Yes, we're ready oh, for baby. the next <laughs> round. <laughs> um, okay, so the subject is Mandela effect movie quotes. So oh. Deborah mentioned misheard quotes from lyrics. This is all going to be misheard quotes from movies. <gasps> Oh, you guys and, like that? and you're going to tell me simply, so this are all multiple choice, essentially, because you're going to tell me if it's true or false. 
Oh, good, because we need a true or false right now. Okay, so I'm going to give you the line, the movie and the line, and you're going to just tell me if it's true. If it was actually represented properly there, exactly right, this is going to be exactly right, or it's not right. So true or false, okay? I can already tell you, we've got five. <laughs> well, so so that that uh, let's see. I'll have to talk to Kyle about that. That that would assume that there's half of each type, wouldn't it? You're making an assumption there. All right. Oh, no standard deviation. Mute every mute everybody. And muting. Oop. Let me or do not. this here. Talk talk, talk 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 not talk. Not muted. There. Okay. Question number one. Uh, and so this is going to be the only one that pertains to two films of the same name from two different years. From King Kong, 1933 and 2005. The quote is, it was beauty killed the beast. You have to tell me if that's true, only if it was that way in both versions of the film. That's just me and Rob. <laughs> Question number two. This was perhaps the most famous of them. Snow White and the Seven Doors, 1937. Magic mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? Question number three. And these are going in ascending order of uh, the release of the films, just because I'm a little OCD. Number three, The Wizard of Oz, 1939. Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Number four, Casablanca, 1942. Play it, Sam. Number five, Dirty Harry, 1971. Do you feel lucky, punk? Number six, Jaws, 1975. We're going to need a bigger boat. Number seven, Star Wars Episode Five: The Empire Strikes Back from 1980. Luke, I am your father. Number eight, Wall Street, 1987. Greed is good. Number nine, Forrest Gump, 1994. Life is like a box of chocolates. And I finally- I close my eyes and I could just picture him, right? That was- <laughs> And finally, from number 10, Titanic, 1997. I'm the king of the world. And that's it. Any questions? Okay. And opening the rooms. What are you doing here, Rob? It automatically sends me here, so I will Hi, have to team. go. Hello. Hi, new team. I'm Rob. <laughs> I know some of these. Oh, good. If you're Rob, yeah, you know yeah. all the answers. Awesome. Okay, I will sit here and, quietly. Unless you've been Mandela, Caspian. Okay. Okay, number I five. probably go with number six. That is false because it's you're going to need a bigger boat. Yep. And number five is also false. It's mm -hmm. do I feel lucky? Right, because he's, he's speaking, he's asking the person and he's to speaking to themselves. They're, yeah. Ask this yourself, do feel. I feel lucky? Yep. So that is false. Oh, I see. And, it's already put Star Wars. You're going to need a bigger boat, right? Yeah. Yep. Number eight then, is also false. It's, seven was false. Yeah. You guys agree with that? Number eight, now, I think. What is, is, what is the correct one for eight if eight is false? It's greed. Greed for for lack of a better word, word is good. Ah, uh, okay. so there's just some Maybe of it. You missing. left out words. Okay. Are all these going to be false? That could be something. I think number one is I thought it was true, but I can't see number one right I now. I think number four is correct. I think, isn't Forrest Gump right? It sets 
the wording, right? I thought it was life is like a box of chocolates. And then he continues to say, you never know what you're going to get. But I right, so I believe number nine is true. I also yeah. agree and say that one. But then again, it is a Mandela effect, so who knows? I know, and that's the problem. That's what I'm worried about. Now he has me questioning everything. All right, let's go back up to the top, start. Now, here's the question. It was Beauty Killed the Beast. Is it going to be something? I, I think that I, I don't know if it's in the second one, but I, I think that I, that is correct for King Kong. But could he be getting us on a little bit of a change? Like I also recall hearing "Twas Beauty Killed the Beast." That's Would what he get I us on something? That's okay, well right. that's good, Caspian. If if you're thinking that way too, then that makes me think that I'm correct. I'm still I thinking it, it was beauty killed the beast. Because I thought it was twas. Twas sounds right. It was a contracted. So I would think for that it twas would be false, right? Beast, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So if we get that wrong, Susan, I'm blaming you because you were I, I'm um, almost positive I, it's uh, twas. Yeah. Magic I, mean, Mirror I thought it was, and Cassie and Q all, all of us did. So I have a feeling this is wrong. But then again, I have to apologize, Paul. There were some things that answers we didn't go with that you had picked in the previous round that we would have gotten. Peanut. Up. Yep, Peanut should have went with you. <laughs> all right, Magic Mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? So this one I'm not sure because it could be either Magic Mirror or Mirror Mirror. We always hear mirror, mirror. On ah, that. yes, that's true. I so, was, now that you said that, that rings a bell to it's me. It's hard for me to remember. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Well, the book, there's a book called Mirror, Mirror, right? That's based on the the backstory of the, of the. Um, yeah, the, no, I always, yeah. Am I remembering it wrong? And, and Magic Mirror is the correct one? Oh, wait, I take I that, I take that. I'm wrong. It was based, Mirror Mirror is based on the backstory of the Oz books. You're not able to look that stuff up while we're in this round. Susan. So Magic Mirror on the wall. I think. Mirror Mirror sounds right to me, but again, is that what I'm misremembering in Magic Mirror is actually the correct one? I what? think it's Magic Mirror on the wall. You think? Yeah, That's because because it's got a it's got a rhyme. It's a Disney. It's got to be like a yeah. We we could be like misremembering it as mirror mirror. That's the that's the Mandela effect. I think it's yeah. magic mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? And what we all seem to remember is mirror mirror on the wall. I think it's magic mirror. So I think it's true. I'm so torn. Caspian, what's your book? I don't, Caspian? I don't recall ever seeing Snow White. Although I was a horrible I mother. I, I don't know. I'm leaning. It's hard because I'm so remembering mirror, mirror on the wall, but that could be because I don't think it's right. Mirror, mirror. Is the wrong one. I really don't think it's mirror, mirror. What about, what about, I can't spell true. <laughs> he feels so bad about it. He misspelled the word. What about Wizard of Oz? I put true, but I had a question mark because I wasn't following. There, it's something similar to this, so I don't know. I've seen the movie a few times. She was definitely talking to her dog, right? I have a feeling we're not in Kansas. Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas. Anymore. It could be true. Man, I don't remember the category. order if it changed. I'm 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 going with I think true. All right, no work. I would go true too. Okay, it play it, play it, Sam, or is it play? Yeah, it's not play. It's not play it again, Sam. So I think it's play it again. Right. I've never seen Casablanca. I haven't. Yeah, either, but so I, I, I remember this anyway. being a big. Um, so we're saying one of those true Mandela on that effect one? things. Yeah. Say, oh, you know, like in Casablanca, you all think it says. Okay, play what it is again. this Mandela effect? It's it's the it's named after uh, the South African leader Nelson Mandela. Is that people think that Nelson Mandela died in prison, and they can actually picture remembering the Watching funeral, the leaving the cars, around, leaving yeah. from and his funeral. 
But in actuality, Mandela got out and he was president for a while. He did not die in prison. But it's yeah, how, how that, could you possibly believe that? No, lots of people do because they they remember it. It's like a collection. The other one is Shazam and Kazam or something like that. So there's a whole bunch of these Mandela effects that there are people in the world who believe that there are two alternative realities. Yeah. Because they like Jello, um, something Coca Cola doesn't have, you know, different things. They swear that it's right. Oh, like people Bears. think that History of the World Part Two actually exists, whereas and they think that there's <laughs> Mel Brooks naked worlds. History of the World Part One, but there never was a Part Two. Like there was yeah. a Matrix or something, and that yeah, History of the World Part Two is going to include Jews in space. I remember that. Yeah. So that's what the Mandela effect is. There are people who believe that there are. You really the I guess the idea is you really believe it but that's not true but it feels so real right but there are people who think that there are two different titanic i think is true i'm the king of the world i would probably say false see but i don't know i also do remember false? it as i'm instead? king of the world so if you put an extra the in it is that that's wrong the oh, the la oh the the yeah yeah i just remember it as i'm the king of the world anything. not i'm the king of the world i don't remember any of this I, 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 I think different. the the is in there right now i'm saying true susan yeah, what do you think it was Titanic? no but what do you think it was i don't even remember him saying that it's when he goes to the the bow the the front yeah yeah no he does say it we're just said, no. we're the we're kings of the world or no i'm the king of the world i just think the the is gone but i could be wrong on that dang it already like we're going back or what should we I'm just say to go to bed I vote for the 10 10 true or false what does everybody vote i vote true i know susan votes false caspi you gotta break it let's go true ben all right, we'll say true. Do we have something for everything? Uh, let's look. False, true, 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 false, 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 true. Yes, I do. If it's mirror, okay, mirror, so I'm coming for you, Susan. I'm Don't look at you. me. I'm just a guest you're the, here. You're the one. <laughs> I, I'm no, a guest. For your this fault. round, you're you are guest. an official member of our team. <laughs> okay, so if I got it right, then. Then I will praise you. You owe me a Pez dispenser <laughs> next time you see me. No, he owes you a Pez. Here, here, have a Pez. <laughs> oh, I don't Wait, want to Star Wars either. My new head. Really interesting round, Rob. Yeah. Wow. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. It was you made me easy. doubt all my answers, Rob. Yeah. <laughs> Mandela effect. Yes. And you can look it up if you guys don't know what the Mandela effect means. There's a whole there's a Wikipedia page about it. Or yeah, I just or, told my sister. My sister had never. Mandela. My sister. I told my sister about this before. Right before she said, "Oh, you're doing a category. Uh, what is that? I've never heard of that. I can't believe somebody has never heard of the Mandela. Yes, what is this? Never heard of it either. What is this? I can't believe no one's never heard of Pez. Yeah, I know. What does this have to do with Mandela or Pez? What does this have to do with the Holocaust? The Mengele effect? What are you talking about? No Holocaust jokes. There okay. was a, there, that was like the best episode and about the only good episode of the new launch of the X Files. Mandela effect. Well, they yeah, well, but they yeah. the whole point was they even tricked that they kept saying it's the Mengele effect because there was confusion of whether which was the right term. I forgot that. Oh, <laughs> oh well, that's that was that's a really meta. good episode about so the only meta. Good episode. I, the I can't believe they yeah. named the effect after some guy who died in prison. Oh, <laughs> very good. <laughs> Da -da -da. Yeah, go figure that out. <laughs> yes, and, and then came back to life and became president. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> many years. Wow, lived many years longer. All okay, right. so here we go. All right. Wait, do I have to? Do I have to mute? I'm playing little. <laughs> I'm playing the little pertinent clips from each of the movies. So uh, I need uh, to. I need so to. Pause you should mute. The, Probably uh, get, turn the, That was really okay. good, Rob. We've got managed yeah, to get the fun. Mandela effect into our into our uh, social trivia and even Deborah had it in hers a little bit too. <laughs> I, I have to tell you something that I think is really funny um, about the Forrest Gump quote. I was part of the opening team at the very first Bubba Gump Shrimp Company in Monterey. I actually was the marketing person and had I accepted the job then it you know went international but I 
didn't want to work for an unethical, oh, wow. com unethical company. It was run by Viacom and they were really horrible to their workers. But anyway, they actually had training materials and they, you were supposed to ask trivia to the tables and they had it printed as life is like a box of chocolate. Wow. So this is or, really or do you misremember that? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> illuminating. Your brain, your brain's playing tricks on you. Your brain, okay. yeah. Who knows? Um, Rob, just to confirm, can you go false, false, true, 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 false, yes. whatever it yes, is? Yes, yes, yes. Actually, I will. I have it. I'll post it right in the chat now. I have right. It Thank you. And here are the answers in order. True. I think we so did it's five way and five. better than I thought. So it is five and five. Yep. Just like you, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> I I almost wanted to do them all one way. <laughs> Just that would be <laughs> we, we contemplated that that, that you same. Would I said the same thing. I said, Bob, he could have done all false. Okay. I said, give no weight to the distribution. Look at these scores, you guys. Okay, so let's start with the Swiss 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 Death Dash app writers. Do kitty. Oh, like I, no, no, I think, I think no, we're no, five. No. We had five. Uh, five. five, just like yeah. I said, five. five. Yeah, yeah, and exactly what you would expect from random. We chance. didn't have to play, we just had to say five. <laughs> no longer, you're no longer in last place. Oh, two, okay, temporarily out of last. So if you're on this call, you're being laid off. Oh, I thought we got seven. Does anybody on my team have a different score? I had seven too, but I wasn't confident. So that's confirmed. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so then the Canadian Jawas say poutine. Eight. Yes. Okay. So here's the, let's see what the tie is. Psychedelic skeptics and the psychic skeptical fellow seven okay did the jewish space laser one fox christmas tree zero have more than seven eight uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Whoa. Be, yes the king of the okay world. i'll kill my tiebreaker do you want to say i'm the king of the world yeah the king I of the world <laughs> no because i'll probably We're gonna need a bigger boat <laughs> let me find you robert the rest oh, of us need go. a bigger boat why can't I find you? That fox Christmas tree was oh, like a kind of a blah, pathetic blah, blah. tiny penis of a Christmas tree, to be honest. <laughs> okay, so we're, again? Moving, we're moving to the very last. Here we go. Yeah, that's what I think of when I think of Christmas trees. Last but not least, the bonus is Carl, mm. the German. Yeah. Good. He's not on his team to help them out. The, uh, Carl, the German <laughs> with a K. Who knew the Pez and it's, stuff? And it's and it's one question. What is Carl's real last name? We know that. <laughs> G E R. Hey now, we we're recording because he doesn't want it out there. He's well, he had we had it. He put it, up on, put it up on the video. So <gasps> it's but my you, father's. What? It's my father's middle name. Oh, is it wow. for reals? It is for real. Is it somebody's last name? What kind of name is that? Is it, it must be some relatively speaking. common German name. Well, and it could be a first or a last name. Okay. So, uh, have I got power? Yeah. So, I actually spent like an entire afternoon working on three different trivia things, and I had to throw them all out because I could not find proper confirming definitive evidence that one particular list was correct you would think something as trivial as neutral powers during world war one or neutral powers during world war ii you should be able to come up with a simple authoritative list that multiple sources all agree with and it was i could have come up with a list but i would have had to write a book justifying the inclusions and in, in <laughs> so i threw that away and instead behind me here you see a picture of the confluence of the missouri and mississippi rivers I will give you the easy ver easier version of this category. We appreciate that. 
There I think are, after tonight, we need that. Yeah. Not, in, not including Alaska and Hawaii, there are 24 or 22 states west of the Mississippi River. 12 of them, 12 of the states west of the Mississippi River do not touch or involve either the Missouri or the Mississippi River. Name those 12 states west of the Mississippi that don't involve the Mississippi or Missouri rivers. I'm glad I'm here today. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> all did you say, did, American. Name, did you say name 12 states? 10 of the 12. Okay. Richard will probably know more Any than 10 I of the 12. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the, harder rules, version right? would, the harder version would have been to name the 10 states that do involve the Mississippi. Uh, contiguous, the contiguous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not Mississippi. Well, um, not West, uh, West Alaska, Mississippi, or Hawaii. not including Alaska or Hawaii. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed that. Yeah, so, so I can rule out uh, lower New South 48 Wales. West of the Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. South Ten that don't have anything to do with those two rivers. Can All it be right. West or East of the Mississippi? Put the instructions in the chat and send us to our rooms. All right. Uh, and what are you calling this category? Australians uh, need not apply. <laughs> 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 or Keep your hands off our rivers. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Things you never thought you'd need to know. That's what it is. At the, the question, was the question? Uh, which states do not... Uh, which, which states do not feed the Mississippi or Missouri River? That's that are west think. of the Mississippi River. Yeah. Right? Alaska. There are 12. Hawaii. Uh, except Alaska and Hawaii. So oh, we would have like California. The California has no. Yeah. Wait, do Nevada. we have to name the states or the rivers? The states. There's 12 Nevada. states. Huh? Nevada. California, California, Oregon, Washington, Idaho, Nevada, Arizona, Utah, uh, Montana flows in there, maybe Wyoming. New Mexico, maybe? New Mexico, yes. Colorado? Huh? Colorado? Colorado. That's like um, north of New Mexico, right? Yeah, could be. Where what is about that? Texas? Maybe... Texas. Yeah, Texas is not connects to New Mexico. Like, right. Where is the okay. Missouri River? So this was an intense. It runs, starts from Montana and uh, runs down towards the Mississippi. So do we not want to put Montana, Montana on there? Correct. I did. I listed Wyoming with a question mark. So Let's go with the twelve states, and then we can. So the, there well, are Texas, twelve states. Um, Okay, wait, I don't get the question for some reason. So we're, it's Western states. Right. There are 12 Western states that do not contain rivers that touch the Mississippi or Missouri. Right. But does, isn't there not many more than 12 states in, in the West? Right, but Montana, the, the Green River flows into the Missouri River, which flows into the Mississippi River. How many states are considered West? Is there like 15? Well, west well, of the Mississippi. There, yeah, how many are there? And there are, there like are 22, only... he said. Oh, okay. okay, so I didn't realize he said that. 22? Really? On the yeah. west? That's a lot. I know. I was surprised too. West of the Mississippi, anyway. Okay, so obviously the ones farther away, like Oregon and Washington and California. Right. I have a list of 12 and... Uh, Arizona, New Mexico, Idaho, Nevada. Oklahoma... Brandy, does Oklahoma, yeah, Oklahoma, I mean, does Oklahoma, does, does Nevada have any contact with the Missouri and Mississippi? No. Not that I'm aware of. No. Nevada flows west. The Colorado River is all we got. Well, except for up north. So probably not New Mexico and probably not Arizona. Yeah, um, Texas probably not because like Louisiana is the one that has the Mississippi. So probably right. Texas. Yeah, Texas is yeah. a guess. How about Colorado? I think we that have one I'm not so sure about. But well, it's a possibility. Because it's like New Mexico and then Colorado and then Wyoming, right? North and South Dakota? I would think oh, North and like, South no, Dakota would. Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, how many? How states? many are we sure of? How many we got? You know what? I'm wondering if do any states in Minneapolis? It was Minnesota, a Western state. Oh, Minnesota has a uh, has a Mississippi. I've been on it. Okay, because my where I was headed was I wonder if it flows north to Lake Superior. But if you've seen it, I've been on the yeah. They took us on a boat ride on the okay. Mississippi. <clears throat> okay. And so what states do we have? Uh, oh, I have all twelve. I I have twelve states. I'm uh I'm gonna read off the first ones that I'm pretty pretty certain about. California, Oregon, Washington, those are absolute. Idaho, Nevada, Arizona, Utah, Texas, New Mexico, I think are solids. Yeah, those are nine. Yeah, and then Wyoming, Colorado, and Oklahoma, I'm not so sure about. I think Oklahoma has, has Mississippi, doesn't it? I don't know. I think it might. Well, it must be. It must have the Missouri in it because Missouri is right there. You're saying for Wyoming? No, I was thinking of uh, Oklahoma that it probably has Missouri in it or the Mississippi. I okay. think I well, think our I best bet's Colorado. Colorado. Yeah, because we that's twelve, right? So if we take Oklahoma off, no, we've got nine. We've got nine solids. We just have to pick, pick one last one: Wyoming, Oklahoma, or Colorado. I think I'll say Colorado. Colorado. Yeah. yeah. You say take Colorado, keep Colorado. No, keep Colorado. Okay. How's everybody doing, Carl? Uh, I think everybody's about done. Okay, well, I think we're done. Uh, maybe I should have done the harder version. What was the harder um, version? Was well, the harder the... version was to name the ten states that do, instead of the twelve that don't. Oh, yeah, that would have been way too hard. Twelve that don't. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. We might have been okay. Okay. So what states do we end up with? We Washington, Oregon, California, Nevada, Idaho, Utah, Arizona, Colorado, New Mexico, and Texas, right? Yeah. Correct. It's ten, right? Yeah. I'm feeling pretty confident with it. I, I I I'm I think you guys got it. Aren't you guys leading? Yes, we are. Ooh, by one. Look at you. Yeah, by one point. <laughs> Yeah, by one point. But I think this is, I think there's a lot of people going to get 10, nine and 10. Yeah. So I think everybody's going to stay about the same because I think this is not that hard of a question. Mm -hmm. I just, this time was best. pretty fun because it felt like a, a big team effort instead of like having to rely on one person like y'all right. do. But yeah. this time it felt like everyone played a part. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, in the whole right. game, you mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't know anything about the songs. <laughs> about the well, did I, and neither did the any songs. groups I was in. Uh, we were like, what the hell? And the Mercury one, the, the ones with the Mars, we were really struggling with too. It, it's yeah. been hard. All the teams I've been on, it's just been no mm -hmm. ringers in any group. Yeah. Really mm -hmm. struggling. Deborah's was super hard. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I Holy, want that yeah. to be the next yeah. Punch and Judy. <laughs> <laughs> that was just but Ramiro helped us with that mirror mirror one well yeah. you got it right we yeah. almost fell for it but Ramiro was like yeah. I don't think so so we, yeah, we changed right it too. at the last second <laughs> really on big. the um, that uh, uh, greed is good thing I thought somewhere else there he said greed is good and I I don't remember watching the movie isn't it funny how your brain does that to you yeah. Did you guys all know what Mandela effect was? Yeah. Yeah. I did. Yeah. Caspian had never heard of it. What? Your own son? <laughs> never heard of it. He's like, well, what is this Mandela effect? I don't understand. For what you're shame. About. So yeah. <laughs> and then um uh Janine did never heard of Pez. Yeah. That's crazy. I don't understand that. You'd be really surprised what we what a group of 30 people each week plays. We're all gonna be so much smarter by the time right, yeah. we're done with yeah. this. All right, good job, you guys. Good team effort. Yeah, one of the few on, on the continent that flows north. It's it kind of meanders. It doesn't be, make a beeline, but but overall, it. What's that? There's a there's a river that flows from the U.S. into Canada. Yep. All right, we ready? Also Which flows, one's that? It's down the, on the, the map. The, the, the Red me. River. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, the Red River. Red River. 
Which, which province does it go into? Is it Saskatchewan? Saskatchewan? Yeah, I think it's Saskatchewan. Okay. Yeah. Cool. That's the one in the song. The Red River Valley? Yeah, Red River Valley. The Red River Valley. I don't think so. I think that one's down in Texas. Oh. Da, da, da. Okay, go ahead, Carl. All right. So based on what I heard in the chat room, sounds like the a lot of good scores. Uh, I don't maybe even some perfect scores. So states that do not have the Mississippi or Missouri River bordering them or going through them, starting in alphabetical order. Arizona, <laughs> California, Colorado, Yay. Idaho, uh -huh. Nevada, New Mexico, Oklahoma, <gasps> Oregon, Texas, Utah, Washington, and Wyoming. Washington. We did great. <laughs> Yahoo. Yeah, you guys are awesome. That's very, very good. I think I think everybody yeah. did well. What did we end up calling this category? And they were all neutral during World War One. <laughs> a river doesn't run. A river yeah. doesn't run through it. And if you're curious, those are the states that do involve the rivers west of the Mississippi. North and south. The Missouri, the Missouri River runs through Missouri. Wow. Yeah, it does. Sometimes yeah. it works out that way. The, the Missouri <laughs> River. What a, what, a, what a coincidence. Yep. Oh, and there's 10 exactly. So you would have yeah. had to be exact. Yeah. And I guess wait, wait, wait. That was... I'm, I got confused. Where's the second list is, is extra material, not related to the. You yeah. could have done that for another bonus category. That would have been the alternate round. But months months from now. Yeah, wait. Well, now we know the, the answer, Carl. But where's Mississippi? Mississippi is not west of the Mississippi. Oh, it had to be west of the Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> But you should have got 10 without that bit of information. <laughs> oh, I, you know what? We would probably the people just listed them that. all immediately. I didn't even have to chime oh. in. You know what? We would all be arguing about Mississippi. Is it west of the Mississippi? How much you want to bet? Uh, some oh, team probably would have. Oh, I, know the long way, yeah. I know this group. We would be like so upset because <laughs> we overthink things. If you were traveling down the Mississippi, which side would the Mississippi state be on? Left on the right. Left. Which direction Left. are you facing Left. on the boat? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> We're okay. going to need a bigger boat. Carl, what did you call this category? Uh, I don't know. I need it, should be, it should be a river, a river doesn't run through it. <laughs> like, yes. really That's a good one, Kevin. The, the, the word file is just rivers. But... Uh, Call it the Mimo Rivers. MIMO. MIMO Rivers. MILO. MIMO. Hmm? Mississippi, Missouri. Mississippi, Missouri. An often misunderstood category name. MIMO. <laughs> MIMO Rivers. Oh, yeah. It's the Mandela effect. Do is we actually call it? MS? Is MI Michigan? MI? Yeah. yeah. Missouri. Sorry. Yeah, is it Missouri, Mississippi MS? Yes, yeah, so MS is Missouri. It should be the MSMO or MOMS. Oh, Moms River. Oh, perfect. MOMS. Moms. Hmm. Moms Rivers. No, it's MSMO. MOMS Rivers. MS Moms hyphen MO. Okay, let's get to the scores before we just lose our freaking minds. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's true. I, I, I am really having a lot of issues. I, I'm sitting here going, what button do I push? And then I say, what is it I'm trying to do? <laughs> I'm moment? trying to share a screen. And I completely forgot what I was doing. And I'm hitting chat. Oh. I, I, I need a vacation. Oh, no, I don't want to show you that. I want to show you this. OK. I, I'm going to have to disappoint everybody with tonight's scores. But we got a 10. Oh. That means we win. <laughs> <laughs> Stop that count. Sure you do. <laughs> okay. I'm not I'm not paying attention to what Aaron said. So you did have 10. Yes, we did. Yeah. So you yep. almost got first place if we stopped right now. <laughs> hey, I just ran out of oh there. Oh we almost got we almost got first place. We're still in fourth. 
<laughs> well, you're in the 20s now. That was the last place. Okay. If you're on this call, you're be see, this is the team that just screwed it by coming with a name like this. If you're on this call, you're all being laid off, and it just kind of set the mood for the whole team. <laughs> we're gonna be laid off. What do we care? Yeah, what is it? What'd you get? Ten. Ten. We got a good ten. compensation package on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> and Canadian Jawa say Putini. Ten. Yeah, I guess everybody got ten. Ten for uh, psychedelic. I just want them to be able to say it. Psychedelic. Z zero. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> One zero. And zero. Jewish space lasers. Ten, right? Ten. Too easy. We should have gone the other way. <laughs> Not, not a lot of spread on that one. Not a lot of spread. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Two teams at the top and the bottom. There's very uh, few categories. Congratulations, to Jewish space lasers. So mine yeah, had, Brandy is the knowledge spread. of Carl and Romero. Good job. When's the last time we had a category with all perfect tens? Was it Ooh. lighthouses? Not or, that or one. <laughs> I do not believe it was lighthouses. Probably not. Oh, we've had when was the last one? We've had many. Um, I'm looking all tens? Yeah, yeah here's not that one. Long ago. It was not uh, long. round three of game. It was September, October. October. Was, first week of October. So it was. What was the category? I'm looking something. <clears throat> first week of October. I didn't have the date on there for some reason. Hey, I just realized, Susan, you, you did not record when I gave the answers, right? So for the millions of people watching this on YouTube, they'll never have heard what the answers were. Well, they're just going to have to look it up. The first I'm week of October the, was October uh, 7th. I can't see the chat. And she didn't was, record the, she didn't record was, the PowerPoint maybe, presentation. It was um, hmm. Name That Tune, Hit Singles from... <clears throat> the Beatles? Um, it was game number 74. And it was Rob who ran it. And it was the first answer was P.S. I love you. The Beatles. In that tune, the hit singles of the Beatles. Yeah. That was the last time everybody got all 10. So next yeah. week, next no, we week, I need some people to volunteer. Who's yeah. going to play and who wants to do a round? Because I have nobody. <clears throat> December 9th, season two, episode 28. Well, that's tonight. <laughs> no December 9th yeah. it's tonight. today is the 9th oh, well, now it's oh September 16th. <laughs> I'll do a round tonight I'll do a round okay, I, 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 I don't have to be volunteered okay so so it'd be the night it'd be the 16th yeah I, I'm regrettably I'm going to be busy doing a commercial for Uber Eats that day oh Ooh. My, my nephew, uh, my nephew works for them and delivers, so maybe he can be in it too. I'll, I'll tell him the contact. In Australia. In Australia. Okay. That's a long delivery. Who's turning it hot? Who are we volunteering? Who hasn't done their home state yet? Well, we just, we can't say that because then we'll know. No, who's just saying. volunteer for something else. <laughs> <laughs> we have our we office Christmas state. party, so I can't do it. Oh. We'll be dropping in late next week because of the office Christmas party, but I could do a category the following week, I think. What is that day? Is that that's not Christmas Eve? It's Christmas 20, Eve. 23rd. The 23rd. Yeah. You went the 23rd? I could do the 23rd. And I apologize again for the wine category, and it will be easier than that. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna you're gonna do Christmas Eve Eve. We need Christmas to whine Eve. more about the wine the wines category. of Christmas Eve Eve. Just just add an H and Okay, can... Peggy's got that one. Okay, so I missed the wine. I could do that date too. Robin. You did. Put me down. Okay, so I'm starting to fill up the week after the week. <laughs> Robin and I are going to do family law in California category. <laughs> <laughs> You'll love, love us. Next week. Did, you say, did, did I hear Romero say something? We can do next week. Awesome. Romero. Okay, okay. Right. we got yeah. one person. Well, as usual, if you don't fill it up, I have like eight eight categories ready to go. So okay, <laughs> Rob's on Rob standby. Comes prepared. He doesn't mess around. So does that mean Ben's volunteering? What? <laughs> <laughs> volunteer. Is somebody here Ben volunteer? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Ben's up next week. Who else? Thanks, Susan. You're welcome. Brandy. 
I'll just take one of Rob's categories and do it for him. Oh, <laughs> well, he'd have to be here. James, Janine. I wish I could do a category, but work's just too busy. I have no time for anything. I, I gotcha. I, Wilma's going to eventually. I yep. think I not could. that day. Janine's got one. Yes. Bye. I'm in court that day. I don't have anything what? together what? yet. So oh, I'm in court that day. For what? You've got a week, Janine. Kick some family. Kick court. somebody's ass. Good. Good. Ooh, I hear this. Yeah. We'll hear all about it. You will. The week of the 23rd. Correct. <laughs> She's back. So, Janine, this will be perfect because we know it will not be music or, uh, or television or TV or movie related. That is <laughs> correct. So, She'll go probably try. Your <laughs> okay, I need a bonus in a category next week. You can do a bonus that nobody will know anything about. No. <laughs> well, I mean, a few people will, but not many. Yeah, yes, Punch and Judy shows in Lighthouse. Alan. Kyle, Alan, you're on mute. He's been volunteering all along. No, no, no. I think I'll be I'll be very late next week anyway. But I'm thinking about it. Okay, Kyle, <laughs> did I hear something coming from your? I I can't next week. I could the week after though. Okay, Kyle, yeah. next week. All right, <laughs> Rob, you're gonna go up, and then I need a bonus. Who wants to do a bonus? Well, I, I have a bonus, so I could do okay, that so instead of a category. So I could put Rob as a bonus. Why don't we do one week? All Rob. I, I have suggested that to give Susan an actual turn to play on one team where she's. It wouldn't be bad, you know. Should no, I do that? You're giving because Susan he said the he's opportunity got nine categories to drag the one team down instead do of. You multiple. Me, do you want me to just do that for Rob? Is just let him do the whole team thing next week. I'm fine if with he that. wants to do it. I mean, I'm just yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I suggested so that weeks ago to Susan. Okay, let's do that yeah. just this one let's time. Do that now. We'll, we'll get rid of his week. uh all his categories. Your turn, your turn gonna, to shine and really name it to Rob set the distance and, that night. and give him the home stretch. <laughs> Let him get it out of back. his system. Okay, so Romero, will you do it the following week? Uh yes, I can. Okay, that'd be the 23rd. Yeah. Who else did I have nope. volunteered that week? Because I forgot who it's it the is. Rob show next week, and he's gonna Kyle, bonus. Peggy, Robin, <laughs> Romero, and who's gonna do bonus on the week of the twenty third? Since I raised everybody's names. Not bonus. We'll you got think about a while it. to think of it. Yeah, we I've already thought of my team name for next week. Oh no! Why? How are we gonna do this if it's I'm on Lomas. a team? I'm on a team permanently, like choosing a name and everything. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you get you to win or, or, or sync with You're your not the host, host next week. Bob is the Susan, host. Susan, do you want to make someone else host for the moment to assign the group so you have at least yeah. once that experience of finding yourself on a team? And yeah, not, not knowing fight. the anticipation. I could do that. Like, <laughs> how would we? Re but the thing about it would be it was only the room I'm in will record. That's okay. So one team. It'll be on the recording, and I what I like about it is I jump from room to room. That every group. Well, so but that, but that's that's only because you're the host. You can make somebody else the host. So I can make you host, and yeah, it yeah. will record where you go. I presume. Yep. Oh, that'd be fun. Okay, I like that idea. Rob's up next week. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to give you so around. much shit, Rob. Wear a wig to help us with the transition. I definitely have to change my background to Susan's for once. Oh, yeah. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> and just watch out for the gargoyle. Mm -hmm. Oh, I missed saying goodnight good to Faith. It's so good that she did well. Oh, I know. That's, That's amazing. So nice. oh. Well, we can say goodnight, Faith. She, maybe she'll watch the video. Goodnight, Faith. Goodnight, Faith. Good Feel well. Good night, Faith. Good night, Faith. Wow, how fun. To be what a new but that's a first life. from oh, the well, hospital. Is right there, he can say good night. Tomorrow, can tell her. Tell her to say we said good night. I'll um, tell her later. Okay, send, send our she wishes. Probably, she looks sleepy as heck. Yeah, poor thing. All right, you all, I'm gonna hang up because that way the video will work and I can get some stuff. I got a doctor's appointment in the morning. Anything else I need to know? Oh, I think they're gonna release me for my oncology. I think. I think I have, they're going to make me do a bone scan and then they're going to release me in January. So I'll be like, <laughs> really done. In the wild. Huh? <laughs> I will have, they will consider me completely cancer free. So that's, Yay! Yeah, oh, yeah, that's I know, but I, they, I should have been three years ago, I think, but they just kept putting me, kept me on the drugs. I was doing so well. So they said, well, 
let's try a little longer. And so I think they're going to release me. It's almost as if modern medicine works. I know. Isn't that amazing? I get hit by a bus. Watch. Nothing, nothing but a bunch <laughs> of pills. You're My head bus, what bus? Bam. You're, okay. you're a shill, right, Susan? Yeah, I'm a shill. You should see all the money I have piling up shill over here. coming in. And frogs. <laughs> All right, so I'm looking forward to this thing that Rob's going to do next week. This is going to be hilarious. Oh, my God, I'm going to drive you crazy. Hey. I'm going to be Rob. I get to be Rob. Woo! <laughs> you have to get some headphones. I, you don't have a special Rob, background? And Rob gets to be Susan. That's it, Rob. <sighs> That's just so I, I have to I'm practice gonna... on my mispronunciations if yeah. you You have to work on work. <laughs> I'm going to be Rob. Are there Robert. particular words, Rob, that you can't pronounce? Oh, I'm sure there are. I think hilarious. that's the case for everybody. There's, there's certain words I can't pronounce. This we establishment I I can't. <laughs> I'm going to start. You guys make sure you feed me all your Rob man, Rob Robisms. Yeah. You, know who says, you know who says Warsh? I was listening to CNN this week and Andrea Mitchell. She oh. says Warsh. Where's she from? Warsh. I don't know. You have to She's from her. Washington. California. <laughs> Andrea Mitchell? Andrea Mitchell. We could just make the titles things that we'd love to see Rob have to say. Like, I think QAnon followers are geniuses. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Andrea Mitchell is born in Amen to New that. Rochester, New York. Huh. Amen to that, that would do it. Huh? That would Jewish, do it. And I wonder if she's raised there. Oh my gosh, her Wikipedia page is in horrible shape. <laughs> Oh, oh no! Take that up. If there was, if there was only some organization that would, uh, yeah, but we don't work do on fixing that orders. <laughs> Maybe she was a scientist. Sure. Hey, oh, it's awful. Susan, huh? do you have your mug handy? Oh, I love oh. my mug. It's in the other room. It's that's all right. But I love my mug. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's Jay was here mug. when I got it. I, I I sent Susan a, a special mug with the skeptics. Let me go on grab it real quick. Because of. The fact that yeah. if it wasn't for her, a lot of the Great Prediction Project would have never been gun, done because she organized the weekly meeting. You know, she hosted it every week for over a year. So I thought that was such a, a wonderful effort. That and was it, such a, a little huge thank you. amount of work. Now this is being, being published now, Richard? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, is it's so exciting. Told me to tell everybody hello. Look at my mug. See, it's even got the blue and inside it's blue. It's so pretty. Look at this. Hmm. Where's my name? Wait, 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 wait. I'm zooming Aww. in. Ah. Isn't that nice? And it came at the same time. I was um I was uh what was it called? I was uh um, playing we were playing uh cards, cards against humanity, humanity after Thanksgiving on Saturday, and these this package arrived. I'm like, what the heck is this? Mark got his fellow. So just yes. at the yeah. same time and i went and i went and got a knife and i opened up this box i'm like what did i order i didn't order anything and i opened it up in front of everybody it was so nice i think we need to think oh. yeah. and uh jay's like i knew it was coming because i ordered it yes that's <laughs> jay he was my agent he oh, was really nice and adrian got one too <laughs> Yes. So yes. super, super sweet. And it's really nice quality to, inside. It's blue. <coughs> it's just really nice. I should just probably keep it here, but I had it hanging up so I could use it. <laughs> All right, everybody. It's good All to right. see you guys. Good night, everyone. Bye. Till next everybody. week. Bye bye. bye, -bye.